time to continue in Maneko's Night Market, a game all about cats and community. Maneko has made a friend or two, but also has a rival brewing. In this episode, we'll be finishing out the first full spring, which means we'll see tensions in the community rise, not simply at the agents, but also at one another. We'll also see how growing efforts put into the night market are proving fruitful. I love how this game shows community investing in one another and into itself, and I'd love to ask you and hear from you. What ways have you found that your community invests in itself, and what ways have you invested in your community, whether it's digital or in real life? And of course, if you have a favorite cat story to tell, this is the place. Let me hear it. Uh, let me know in the comments for both of those questions, and let's get into the game. We're back, and it's time to see what life is like now, the day after the market. Uh, we have an artifact, we've got more things to craft, um, things to collect, food and flour. There wasn't any food. Oh, perhaps the candies. I should have bought maybe a candy at the night market, but good things are happening. I'm excited. Morning, Lemonhead. I was just thinking about the night market. I thought there were going to be a lot more booths. Oh well, more customers for you, right? Oh, speaking of which, I was really happy to see you selling at the market. You've always loved making and collecting stuff. I'm really happy to see you using that. I was wondering if maybe you wanted to use your skills to help me out a bit. Sure. That's the spirit. Let's go outside for a moment. Yay! And I love this little bit that we learned about our dad where he has been to this island before. It wasn't just a random place he picked to move with you, uh, but he has grown up going to this market and perhaps there is a sense of nostalgia for him. Um, we don't know if there's anything deeper than that bringing him to the market, but could be interesting to keep going and learn. What is it, dad? This. The house? Yeah. <laughs> It is hanging on by a thread in some cases, <laughs> the air conditioning in particular. I wanted a new start for us here, but this is not what I was expecting. This is not the same house I saw in the ad, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> interesting, we can say maybe we can move, and we know from the story from last episode, um, Mineko is not super into this concept of moving. Dad was trying to say like all the positive things, trying to keep spirits high, but um, Mineko is definitely not as into it as Dad is. But I'm gonna try to be optimistic. Uh, we can spruce this place up. Oh, uh, we've never done anything like this, kiddo. You know what? I'm in. The sooner we get this house taken care of, the sooner I can get back to work. I almost forgot what money looks like. Where should we start? Got a bulldozer in your bag? Dad. Okay, okay, let's see here. You know, this place might not be so bad if we gave the structure a little bit of love. Fixing these walls would make this place more presentable. Gonna need a lot of paper for this job. Our house is made of paper? Yep, the strongest of all building materials. Where do we get this paper from? How would I know, kiddo? I'm new too. In fact, everyone's been calling me the new dad in town. <laughs> when you were snoozing this morning, I took a walk around and saw that the tool store is now open. Oh, how convenient. Yeah, lucky for us, everything seems to open right when we need it to. Why don't you ask the nice looking man who works there if he knows where we can find some paper? Nice looking man? You'll know what I mean when you see him. I mean, whoa. <laughs> Sounds good, dad. The tool store is right next to the craft store. They should know where to find some paper there. I'll assess the repairs that need to be made here in the meantime. All right, meet the nice looking man at the tool store. Well, we can certainly do that. Okay, so we need 10 papers. Let's see, people seem to be in these box mill things lately, which, Ben, we actually got a blind box. Um, I wonder if we're able to, it doesn't look like we can give any. Um, and nothing new there. Do you have any new dialogue? Nope. See you at the night market. Cute. Again, we're gonna collect all the flowers we can. Because it's important. Now, we haven't gifted anyone anything. Um, I wonder if I can. Because I think that would be, that would be really nice, uh, to 
to start building up relationships so we can learn how to make new crafts. But perhaps we haven't gotten to that point or, uh, yeah, maybe, let's see. Crafted items. Can I give, look, discard, cancel. Okay, yeah, it looks like I can't do anything with this yet. So I won't stress about giving gifts to folks, even though I know we were told that we can to build relationship. Uh, I will follow, because I think the game's still early enough. We're, we're still opening places. We're still tutorializing some things. Ooh, I just got the flourishing florist collected 100 flowers achievement. Hi, Bobo's mom. Ah, uh, same, same, same. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's go to the tool shop. That's probably the best use of our time. Whoa, Hank the Hunk. Welcome to Hank the Hunk's Tool Emporium. Nice to meet you, newcomer. I'm Hank the Hunk, but most call me just the Hunk for short. Um, why do they call you that? Because I'm the town hunk. Of course. Can you tell me about this store? It's a tool store. I sell tools in a store. Thanks. For real, though. I know all there is to know about tools and tool-related topics. Do you know where I can find paper? The most important tool of all? Paper, you say? Come on, give me a hard one. All the paper on our island is local. No important paper for us, baby. Great. <laughs> where can I find some? Well... The closest area where paper can be found is in the birch forest. But if you're talking about unrestricted places, you're out of luck, little friend. Only workers who are, curr are currently permitted to travel to most places on the island do to. I don't know what it's due to. <laughs> Hunk? Yes. Academic? Maybe not. I guess it's because those jerkwad agents say so. You know, if, and if, this is a big if, you were to carry a paper axe with you. The bus driver may mistake you for a forest worker. <laughs> and they may just let you off at the birch forest. But I know you wouldn't possibly do that because it would be wrong to defy the restriction set by the, uh, jerk, uh, sorry, those very reputable agents. So for sure, you wouldn't save up your money to buy a paper axe to gain entry into the birch forest. Is it that one tool for sale over there? Yeah, it must be your lucky day. I mean, the one tool you need is the one tool I have for sale. What are the odds? <laughs> but keep checking in here. I should have a new supply of tools coming in shortly. Probably when you're done with whatever it is you're doing. <laughs> Buy a paper axe to gain entry into the birch forest. All right. Okay. Um, I'm very much channeling Kronk for some reason for this character. Um, 600. Ah, oh, never mind. Okay, so we need to make a little bit more money. I know I can make a little bit more money by selling my extra stuff at Bobo's mom's craft shop. So let's see, can we make a hundred? Ah, we can. Like all our money though. What is this? Oh, that's the that's the blind box prize that I got. Okay. I won't worry too much about my money right now, simply because I think we're still walking through a lot of the basic stuff, so. The perfect tool, that's the paper axe, for law-abiding activities that don't involve trespassing into restricted locations. Of course. Go give him heck, little friend. I like how everyone's just, everyone's with me on this. They know, we all know the agents, we're all not rooting for them. Oh my God. I don't think I noticed this poster. That's pretty incredible. I like how Hank the Hunk has posters of himself everywhere. Um, but also, there's a little advertisement for Pocky, and the character looks like me. Alright, so let's go get dropped off at the Birch Forest. Uh, or let's go to the... No, let's go to the Birch Forest. We'll progress, um, and I'll, in the evening, collect flowers for crafting time. New location discovered. <gasps> More stealthy time. Okay, okay. I see, I see. Hey, you made it. I didn't know you were going to be here. Where else is the CEO of the Bobo Mystery Team Limited going to be? I see your company name changed. Anyway... I want to be a part of it this time. We got to save those cats. I have some ideas. Oh, okay. 
So what's your genius idea? I could, uh, oh, I could cause a diversion. I'll pretend there's some kind of emergency and distract the agent while you look around. I, I mean, it might not work and we might still get caught, but it's something. Anything else? Well, we could always go with the old tried and true bribery. Who doesn't want money, right? Of course, in order to bribe someone with money, it's got, got to cost you, well, money. Any other plans? I guess we could always try to make a run for it. I'll leave it up to you. All right, let's liberate the captured cats. I am very down for this. How should we do this? Follow me, we're going for it. Oh! Run, cat, run! <laughs> Can I wait until the next... <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time for this nonsense. Dang it. I did it! <laughs> okay. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, we're taking it very step by step. Um, I don't want to spend money. We're gonna, we're gonna go for it. I feel like the switching is happening slowly enough. That we can we can make this. This is this is a very possible make it work moment. Oh shoot, balls! <laughs> too much hope, too much hubris. I think. Okay, no. I wanna. I wanna. I wanna go for it. I don't know if that's me being too cocky, but this rock is getting in the way. That's the problem. Yes, got him. Run, cat, run! <laughs> I don't have time for this nonsense. <laughs> I wonder how complex. We got five more cats to go. Ooh, what's this? It's a lever to something. Okay. Alright, oh, he's on a scooter now. Alright. He's a little bit faster, but I think we can I think we can go for it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I don't want to spend my hard-earned money bribing these guys. No way. No way. Also, cute cat statues. I love how everything is cat-themed on this island. Okay, how should we do this? So this person has the cat directly behind them. We are going to go for it. Okay. Nice. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Cute cat statue again. So good. Okay. Three more to go. Oh, this one's easy. Oh, there he is. Okay. I was like, he's not even facing the right way. Okay, we're going to go for it. And there's two more. Another scooter, which is very possible to go for, again. That was even easier than some of the others. Okay, we have another shrine here. I wonder if I have to get a cat to stand on these. Maybe we'll have two cats, because there was two of these. All right, the last one, probably in this most locked down section right here. Yep. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. Very tiny detail, but the textures in the grass are so good. Like you can see this sort of wave like pattern um, as well as the store of, it's not stippling because it's not quite dots, but sort of the lot, lots of little dashes. So I love the ways that the, in like we have the stripe or the scratches, cat scratches. Uh, so it's fun to see all the different textures in the art. Um, it's not just one texture making up the grass. Okay, we're gonna go for it once again. Whoa! 
I didn't realize you were going to go in a circle, but that worked in our favor. All the cats in the birch forest have been liberated. That was wild. Uh, I can't believe I, um, uh, <clears throat> we did that. I was born for this. What's our next adventure? What's our next one? Um, hold on. Let's explore this place. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yes. As CEO of Bobo Mystery Hunters Anonymous, I approve. I think it's going to be a running joke that it changes every time. So, uh, what's next? Follow me. Ooh, actually, could you stay here? Stay here. I'll look around. Hey, I think I did that some- I think that did something. Look around. Alright, I agree. I think that did something. I think that's going to open the door that we want to open up. I knew it! Yeah, ooh, looks like an epic hairball. <laughs> Did you hear that? What was that? I don't know, but let's find out. <laughs> I love the writing. Um, it's not like super complex, but I feel like I have a sense of every character just from the small ways that they're, the spelling of words change. Um, Mo, I think, the pilot. That's another one in particular where I feel like I have a sense of what, how Mo sounds. Discovered another artifact. An epic hairball. <laughs> it looks like maybe the part of the necklace or jewelry that Nick Nico wears. A hairball from Nico. Hmm. Hmm. The Asians have left the birch forest. We are gradually pushing them off the island. Back home where they belong. You can now use this location to harvest paper trees. Cats have returned to the birch forest. Oh, wow, that was intense. I feel like my heart is beating. I, I hope so. <laughs> so what's up with these artifacts we keep finding around these agents? They're evidence of Nico's existence. I know it. And these darn agents must be hot on his trail. Maneko, or Manex, as you like to be called. We need to free these cats across the entire island. I don't know why these agents are kidnapping the cats, but it has something to do with Nico. Somehow. Some way. Um, I agree with you. I think there's something weird happening here. Yes. I knew I chose the right person to be the assistant secretary of the Bobo's Mysterious Mystery Hunters, LLC. <laughs> oh, Bobo. We're gonna have to find a way to get around this island. I was talking to Hank the Hunk, and he was saying... I know Hank, too. And he was saying that people with tools may be able to access certain parts of the island. Oh, okay, cool. So we use them as, like, blunt force weapons? I call the pickaxe. No, no. I can masquerade as worker. As a worker, we can masquerade as workers and enter these forbidden locations. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fun, too. Some combat really would have stepped up our adventures, but yeah, we'll go with your thing this time. <laughs> There are some wonderful little meta moments, uh, especially I've noticed particularly with Bobo, um, where it's like, oh, as a mechanic, if we had combat, sure, but nah, not this time, I guess. Um, also, what was that? I couldn't say this any greener, <laughs> you know, indicating like the ways that games um, create these sort of systems and mechanics that we use to understand what's going on. I love that. That's such a good little little detail about Bobo that I appreciate. That's why you're the greatest boss in the history of the Boba Squad of Mystery Solvers. Well, I'm heading home. Now, if you decide to stick around and harvest some paper, make sure you're only harvesting the birch tree stumps, not the living trees. That's good sustainable living. Yeah, our island isn't all bad. Anyways, peace outies. I like that. I think one thing that I think about a lot with crafting games or um, press and hold and release. Okay. Oops, you oh, whoops. Immediately did it wrong. <laughs> One element I think about pretty regularly when I play games uh, is that the element of sustainability and how a lot of games encourage you to just sort of farm craft and <laughs> utilize and min-max nature to its fullest, which is not how actual use of the earth should happen. And so I think it's really nice that they pointed that out really quickly, uh, saying, hey, don't take the living trees out. Take these stumps that we can use. <laughs> oh, okay. I am very not understanding the hold button 
mechanic of uh do, 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 do. can i not eat this can i not drink this oh no can i not use my energy shucks too tired to chop no am i too tired to do anything might have to go yeah i might have to go buy a flower why can't i oops oh there we go that must have been just a wonky wonky bug moment I really want to figure out how to do this paper thing. Hmm. Hmm. Hold A. Oh, okay. I think I see. Whoa, that took a lot of energy. Too tired to chop. Okay, I need to go get some food, and then I need to do a little bit of paper harvesting, because there's a lot of paper, a lot of cats, and I don't have any energy, so... Um, oh, cute. All right, we'll come back, we'll come back. But what's nice is that we get five paper out of one harvest, so it's pretty... I feel like you get a good return, even though it uses a lot more energy. I hope we get a way to maybe expand on our energy in the future. Okay, let's go buy some snacks. I don't think I have money for it. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, ramen. Only $25? Ugh, I don't have it. Darn it. Darn it. Okay, well, let's do a little crafting, I guess, and go to bed. Tomorrow we should be able to complete this quest. Hey dad, I'm home. Any luck finding those ten papers? I'm halfway there. I, if I had if I had understood the assignment first, um, I probably would have... Actually, never mind. Let's do the Kokedama. Yay! And let's do... Oh! Oh! I wonder. I wonder if I could maybe sneak away with getting one more and at least completing this quest today. Okay, let's do... Because if I get a sale, that'll let me get at least one drink. I can just chop one more tree. 86? Alright. 86. And that gives me enough energy to get... I'll try a truffle ramen. That sounds delicious. I love truffles. Okay, thanks, Bobo's mom. Bye. And we'll take a bus ride, and we're gonna try and get one more wood harvest going. Yum. That is one classy cup of cheap noodles. <laughs> classy. Hey, there we go. Five paper. Uh, enough paper for the house project. Now, I'm gonna do some flower picking. Okay, I'm glad. At least we were able to complete that quest, or that portion of the quest, today. Now, it is dark. It is quiet. Have I already grabbed all the flowers here? I really want to try and maximize as much as I can. There we go. Like, we could maybe pick up one more flower. There we are. Good. I don't want to leave any energy hanging, you know? I want to make sure we have uh, really utilized our capabilities to the fullest each day. Do, 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 do. All right. Hey, kiddo, any luck finding those 10 papers? Ah, oh, you found it. Let's put up our new walls immediately. I'll be excited to see them in the light during the day. <laughs> Yay, it's already looking much better. Would you look at that? You upgraded your house. Oh, huh? I think you may have yourself a little fan club. It's been years since this... Oh, <clears throat> Bobo's mom. Oh, it's been years since this place has been cleaned up. We're so lucky to have you here. Are you available for odd jobs? <laughs> I could use some help first. Beautiful. 
Yeah, yeah, not bad, I guess. <laughs> you know, if you're available, we'd love to have your help with various tasks around town. Yes, please. In fact, I just received a big shipment of new craft benches that would help you on your way. Stop by the craft store when you can. I'll give you a great deal. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, I'm very glad I achieved this today because uh, this seems like it's really opened up quite a bit for me. Wow, kiddo, you're popular. Don't go getting a big head there, though. I'm not sure if your neck will be able to support an even larger melon. <laughs> Dad, you're making me self-conscious. Anywho, great job out there, kiddo. Cute. You've gained... <gasps> Yes! So in helping out others, we gain more stamina, energy to be able to do more things. So that's pretty exciting. New craft benches are now available for purchase at the craft store. Cool. Additional tools are now available. Awesome. And you can now accept odd jobs from villagers in the village. So now we have a reason, more of a reason, to interact with folks, to talk to them, and perhaps even give them things. Um, by a fishing rod, wood axe, pick axe. Ooh, things are getting busy. Um, all right. Cool. I love it. Let's go to bed. We've had a successful day. Uh, if you take your flower craft bench and whip us one box flower when you have time. Oh, okay. I don't know if I can. I don't have the recipe yet. Uh, let's do a couple of cat bouquets. They seemed quite popular when we were at the market. So, I'm gonna try and save, save more of these, uh, whoops. <laughs> because, well, I need stuff to sell in the market, but I also need stuff to sell so I can get more, um, craft benches. It's only Tuesday. I'll start really cooking for the craft fair or for the night market on Wednesday. That's what that's when I'll really focus things in. Okay, year two. Oh, look at the rain. Oh, that is so cozy. Oh, nothing better than just a rainy day outside. And when you're inside and you hear the pitter patter. Oh, it's so good. Ready for the next task? Okay. Yep. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, so we have two hearts, which is pretty dang incredible. We are going to be able to really, really knock a lot of crafting and foraging out. Um, I guess the first thing we need is content. Here comes the content. I guess if we want to make a show about food, we need food. Let's start with a cup of truffle ramen. That should be easy to find in a vending machine around here. Oh, I just ate truffle ramen. I should have saved it. They make a boy's drink now. I need a soda pop star. No, I need three soda pop stars. One for each boy's boy. <laughs> See you at the night market. Okay. So we're going to have to make a lot of money if we're buying stuff for people. Truffle ramen, three sodas. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And we need food and energy for ourselves. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh, and I love you can see the little yokai on the book. I'm gonna need a place to gather all my yokai hunting evidence. Let me know if you could find a spare yokai face zipper pouch around. Hmm, I wonder if I could craft that. If not, I wonder if maybe one of the other vendors is making something like that. So we're gonna have a hefty list of quests to go through. Oh, where's that delivery kid today? He's late with my two prune juices. Prune juice? Can't say I've tried it, but I can, I can try getting it for you. All right, Mom wanted me to ask you for help with something, but I totally forgot what it was. Oh, what the heck was it? Sorry, I had a wild night last night. I could sure go for a, no, two matcha lattes right about now. Oh, is that Bobo's sister? <laughs> I think that's Bobo's sister. Man, there's never anything to eat in this town. Let me know if you come across any black ramen in this hole. Oh, I think we could find some black ramen. Okay. All right. We got this. So we're already down like one heart just from all this collecting. Greeting, Jace. Come to talk to the living legend, Flying Tengu. Flying Tengu? 
That's what they used to call me back when I was piloting the Takashi K-1. Gosh, it's been years since I've corresponded with my old pilot buddies. Guess I should get me a mailbox, eh? Alright, looks like I'll have to be crafting up a mailbox, too. I need to train hard for my pro career. Someone get me two sports drinks. Stat! Stat means fast, I think. <laughs> I'm hoping to become the new resident tea maker in this town. In all honesty, I've never found the tea to be any good on this island. Oh my gosh, we didn't either. Unfortunately, I seem to be about five sakura flowers short for my latest batch of sakura tea. Oh, I have that. I'll do that right now. I'm thinking of starting up a business for my creations. Well, I should save up for my new venture, but I won't let you leave empty-handed. Ooh, I learned the bug diorama recipe for the paper craft bench. If you're big into tea like me, you need to try one of these decadent sakura gelatins. I haven't had one in years. I hope they still have them at the night market. Ooh. Wait, oh my gosh, I did not realize this, but the fish... The house is on a pond and the fish is a koi fish. I thought it was just a fish on the ground. <laughs> Why did my eyes not register that it was a koi pond? Oh my god. Are you here to help me with my gardening duties? You know, if you can collect five plum flowers, that would help me a lot. Done. Thank you so much. Mineko, is it? Thank you, Mineko. What a helpful little bugger you are. Oh, here's a little something for you card game recipe. Ooh, are you the one I hear about making crafts for people around here? I love your work. I would love if one of your world famous, I would love one of your world famous ko kokedamas if you happen to have one. Why, yes, I think I do. Oh, I guess I don't. All right, well, I can make one later. Okay, so we're already getting into one heart. Ugh, my grand never has any good eats. You know, if you sneak me a raccoon ramen, that'd be pretty cool of you. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, wait, there's one more flower up here, I think. Yep. So I don't have any money, so I don't think we'll be able to buy any of the tools or the paper craft bench quite yet. But let's just see what how much we'll have to save. Okay, paper craft... Oh! <gasps> Ooh, but there's also a wood bench. Four hundred dollars! Oh my god. BRB. Gonna do, gonna do some crafting right now. <laughs> do a little bit of that. Uh, how much are tools? I imagine each bench is gonna be about four hundred. Twelve hundred! Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we got some stuff to work for. It's, we got some goals. <laughs> Let's, uh, hmm. Let's do some crafting selling. Wait, let's make a kokodama. Uh, because we know that's from one of our side quests. And if I can make maybe two cat bouquet. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay. don't know if I'll have the energy to make as many things as I would like today, but that's all right. Okay, who was it? I think someone here. It was a Chica who wanted... We can at least complete one side quest. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh. Here's a little something for you. The feelings journal recipe. Ooh. Hi, Mineko. Is it my lucky day? Are you here to help out some more? I'm looking for a planter box. Oh my gosh, okay. So, we've got that. Now let us travel to... Bum -ba -da -bum, the gardens. Birch forest is cool, but we are primarily focusing on flowers because that is the thing we know how to craft. So I'm gonna be just using whatever remaining energy I have to pick up flowers and hope hope that we get enough to maybe do a little bit of a, a little bit of a selling moment here. Okay, that gold hairball is so tantalizing because it's gold. But again, I need to focus in. I think it's probably, it seems like the gold hairball pops up. 
Well, but it's a gold hairball. I'm gonna pick up the gold hairball just because it seems to be a bit more rare. I don't see it every time I go out, so we'll, we'll make sure and just get that. Okay, let's get another Sakura flower. We can pick up one more, so we'll make it a plum. And we are plum out of energy. <laughs> so let's go back and see what we can craft, what we can sell. Okie dokie, we made two cat bouquets. So I think I can sell them maybe for about a hundred. Oh, I have three. Ooh, let's sell all for 165. This feels like it's not as good of a deal as if I were to sell it in night market. I'm not quite sure, but it feels that way. But at the same time, we have so long until the next night market, I don't want to wait. Um, I wonder how much... Whoa! Sell all for 225. I mean, that's a lot of flowers. I don't think it's overall worth it. I think it's better to craft a thing. I don't know, though. Well, let's see. Can I sell one for 30? I'll sell one of my golden hairballs. I'm like, can I get two? Hmm. Can I sell one of these? $45? No, I want to keep my collectible. I want to get a paper craft, but I'm apprehensive because I also want to get some of these side quests going. I bet you tomorrow I'll be able to get the rest of the money to get the paper craft stuff. So I'm going to get a truffle ramen and I'm going to see if I can find maybe at the vending machine another like the black ramen, I think, was another request. Oh, two sport drinks. I could get two sport drinks. That's 80, though. Uh, no, I won't do that. That seems like a lot, and I want to be a little bit... I want to have a little bit in the bank, you know? Okay, who wanted the truffle? No, not you. They Folks move around, too, so it's like I have to find the person I was talking to. <laughs> I think it was strawberry? Strawberry girl who wants to start a podcast I think she was the one who wanted the truffle ramen um yes perfect yay awesome we are so filming the uncupping of this noodle <laughs> oh here's something for you you earned the beehive terrarium recipe for the flower craft bench you know we can't just go live with a video of noodles we need a little more how about something sweet chocolate box. If you can grab us one of those from the night market, that'd be well. Sweet! Okay, but hey, we finally got a third recipe for the flower crafting, which is pretty cool. Um, let's check out what we can do. I, I think I've kind of maxed out what I can today. Otherwise, three of eleven. <gasps> Ooh, okay, so that requires a blue flower, which we have not, and a white flower, which we've not unlocked. That's cool. Oh my gosh. The rain. I just love that so much. Okay, well, hmm. My weakness. I stash things until I realize I'm at the end of the game and I never used them. I don't know. I'm such a hoarder. Let me know if you're also that kind of person. Whenever I play games, I will just not use items to the point of probably just like making things more hard on myself than I really need. Um, okay. I don't have the box flowers recipe. Do. Okay, pug ramune. I can get that chocolate box we won't be able to get until Saturday. Bobo doesn't want to talk to us. Um, so my goal is to do a lot of collections. An extra boximal blind box. Oh shoot, I should have not opened mine. <laughs> okay, I know you want, I know you want three sodas, right? Yeah, soda pop star. Three soda pop stars. 
So you gotta get one for each band member. I like how she called two of them, basically, leaving me with <laughs> whoever the third is. Okay, so everyone's got... Everyone wants something. But who's asking Maneko what she wants? Okay, looks like we're good here. Sakura gelatins at the night market. So again, my goal today is to get 200 dollars, <laughs> the equivalent, uh, and be able to start my paper craft journey. Which I think is possible. We still don't know what the onigiri does, uh, which I think is kind of interesting. We have three of them, or it looks like in the menu we have three of them, but it doesn't, we haven't unlocked sort of whatever ability related to that yet, so. I'm very interested to know what other sort of skill we'll have that we'll be able to utilize when out and about. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, I think I've gotten all the flowers, so I'm gonna just use this extra energy to collect some hairballs. Oh, a couple flowers I missed over here. Oh my goodness! All right, last flower. Okay, we have to pet at least one cat. Oh! Too bad they can't follow me home. That would be the best. Alrighty, I've made four cat bouquets. I think that's more than enough um, for what we need. Let's go sell and hopefully we'll be able to at least get the paper craft station going. And then we'll probably have to start focusing in on crafting things for the next market. Uh, I think the division seems pretty wise um, so far, spending the first half of the week maybe doing more for the community in the second half of the week prepping for the event. Oh wait, hold on, I have to actually sell some items. Okay, so I did the math real fast. Uh, if we sell one for 55 or five for 275, it's the same deal for both. Um, we're not getting a deal or we're not giving a discount for selling bulk or getting a better deal for selling bulk. So I'm gonna go with all of them because I just want the money to get the paper craft bench. So um, we're gonna go and fully splurge today. Woof. All right, and this is the poster I was talking about. It looks like Pocky over here and the character looks like me. I just need a different hat. Uh, do I have enough money? Maybe. No, 19? Pfft. That's nothing. That is nothing. Okay, so let's go back. And uh, if we don't have anything to give, folks, I'm not gonna worry about chatting with them because do I have anything to give? No. Let's see what we could potentially build, or what ingredients we'll need to do some of the paper crafting, because we got a couple requests that I think all involve paper craft. So we've got Origami Miko, Card Game, Feelings Journal, and Bug Diorama. Ooh, okay, so this involves stuff that we do not have. And maybe would have been wiser to get a tool, because maybe we need to go and get a tool to go to a new area. To, you know, unlock more of these items because I don't have a lot of the paper craft items. I have paper, but I don't have any dye. I can't collect rocks yet. This looks like special paper and special uh, more dye. Wood? Lumber? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, what's really cool is I feel like we're unlocking a lot of things to do. Ah, <sighs> so good. This game is, is bigger than I thought it would be. I think I said this last time, but Truly, I think this is, um, in my head, I was like, oh, this is probably a six hour game. And maybe it still is, but I feel like if we have every se if we have multiple seasons, like if we're ostensibly not just going through spring, probably summer, fall, and winter as well, that's a lot of content. <laughs> it's a lot of content. Okay. God, do you have any other quests? Oh no, you chocolate box. I already knew that. Okay, so now... It is Wednesday. 
which means we're gonna have to start crafting and collecting and preparing for the night market. While I think we can get a decent deal in selling our stuff to Bobo's mom, definitely the profits come on Saturday when I'm able to bargain with people. Uh, I just have to not get, because people will walk away if you drive too hard of a bargain. And so that's one thing that I definitely learned and don't want to replicate because I think it lost me probably a hundred dollars, which is a big deal. Okay, let's go on to the gardens. Yeah, let's go to the gardens. Again, that's what I can make. I don't really have tools for the other stuff yet, so um, I'm gonna hang tight. Because I don't have any dye. And I don't think I can purchase the dye in any of the shops that are open currently. Yay, okay, spent the day foraging, did some crafting. Let's sleep. Now, I'm a bit nervous. Oh, it's another rainy day. I hope I'm not choosing perhaps incorrectly by focusing in on making money for the festival or for the night market instead of focusing in on doing some of these side quests. What's kind of nice though is that the game doesn't really have a lot that gives me a ton of pressure. Like, I'm sure there's probably a way to min-max this and make the most money and all of that, but I think because of the way that they've chosen to do some of the things that normally cause me a little bit of nervousness or like, ah, stress in these kind of games, like time doesn't pass unless we take the bus. That's awesome, I love that. Um, we have stamina, but it's pretty easy to keep a track track of. Um, we have the ability to do crafting and stuff, but we only have really the Saturday market to sell it at, so it's not like we're constantly every day having to deal with like haggling. I think that's really wise too. It allows me feeling like I can take time to do other things, whereas if we had a market every night, I'd probably feel a little bit more anxious about min-maxing. But because it's just the once a week, I'm like, oh well, you know, half the week I don't really have to do tons. <laughs> the rest of the week I can try and focus on the market. So maybe this is this is the right way, or at least the right way for me. I wonder, I bet you we'll be able to build a bridge. Now let me actually check, because if one of the tools is 1200, does that mean all the tools are 1200? We already have an ax, a wood ax. Ooh, so we could get lumber. Okay, so 1200, 800, and 400. Oh, so perhaps we get a fishing rod because that could be a really smart way of getting some more uh, some more cash during the night markets, having fresh fried fish. That seems pretty cool. Um, let's see, we have enough energy. Let me go. Let me go to the gardens. Or, hmm. Yeah, let me go to the gardens. Again, we don't have enough to actually make something with paper yet, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. And begin thus begins another day of foraging. I've noticed I have a lot of camellias as well. Oh, I've collected 250 flowers. So I'm gonna focus on the sakura and the plum because I think those are more of the the limiting factor when it's coming to craft. Like looking at my inventory, I wonder if I should sell some of my camellia because I have like 20 something there, whereas the sakura and the plum, I think I only have like four or three. So I'm definitely using more of those instead of the camellia. I'm nervous because I'm like, what if a recipe comes up where camellia is like really critical? <laughs> um, that's probably not the case. Okay, so we'll craft one more of these kokodamas. I'll do more of the cat bouquets, because I think I'll just be able to get more out of it. Yay! I'm so excited to try all of the different mini games. Like being able to 
like with the paper craft, what 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 am I gonna be cutting? Because I have a feeling I see the scissors, so I feel like I'm gonna be cutting something, maybe paper, or maybe there'll be a folding mini game. Um, I think I vaguely remember there was a sewing machine one where you had to kind of follow the lines, and I thought that was super cute. Uh, really quick, let me see. Quests: buy a fishing rod, buy a wood axe, buy a pickaxe. I wonder. We could get more recipes. The wood axe was 800, if I'm remembering correctly. I only have 19. Sell one. I wish there was a little bit of a between. Like, I don't want to sell just one, but I don't want to sell all of my flowers. <laughs> um, like, and going through one at a time seems so... Uh long like it seems you know other places have options in this game to pick a specific number so i feel like it's kind of an interesting choice to make selling not one unless i'm missing something crafted items yeah it seems interesting that you can pick one or the other uh 124 I wonder... Uh, it doesn't seem quite useful. I think I'm going to stop there. Okay, 800. Ah, it's more expensive. Okay. So, sold a few just to get a little bit of money in the bank. Uh, I wonder if maybe I could just do one side quest. Um, you wanted a pouch. Maybe I could pick up two energy drinks. That cost 80, I think. That would be... That would put me back to where I was. Oops, I'm too tired. Yeah, maybe I'll help the sport drink kid. I think I could probably do that. And I think sport drink was found in the venging machine. Yeah. See, because right here I can pick to purchase two. Uh, I wish that's translated. Ooh, and actually, oh, do I want to spend all my money? Yeah, let's do it. Because then, then I can help the dog, the dog fan. What is money if not to spend and give gifts to other people? Genuinely. <laughs> like, wh why else do you need money? It's to get things. So don't be too precious with your money. It's important to, you know, take care of yourself. Make sure you got what you need to survive. But beyond that, hoarding doesn't quite make sense to me. Uh, are people in bed? What the heck? Where are y'all? <laughs> I come bringing gift of sport drink. And pug soda. <laughs> Alright, it looks like we have some friends who go to bed way earlier than everyone else in town. So we're going to take these items home and we'll just be able to complete those quests tomorrow. Here we go. Time to sleep. <gasps> oh my goodness! Game saved, and we're already on week two! Okay. What do we do first? Okay, so we can give those items away, and this just market preparation time. Okay, you didn't want that. Where's the girl who's dressed up like a dog? Like she had the dog hoodie. You wanted the blind box. I'll be able to pick that up for you at the market. What did you want? Beetle brand ramen? Oh, okay. Ah, here you are, my friend who loves pups. Here you go. And there was an, uh, kind of a throwaway line, but I think maybe it's revealing some of the mechanic. Um, Bobo's mom said something about people liking you more, being more inclined to purchase from your shop. Uh, so I wonder if that also plays a role, um, and haggling, like if they like you, they're more likely to say, oh, okay, I'll pay, pay a little bit more. Where the heck do you find this? I've been looking everywhere. Thanks, new face. Let me see what I got for you. You learned the upcycled art recipe for the art craft bench. Ooh, pug paper doll. Okay. Let's see. And now I need to find baseball kid. Here we go, baseball kid. All right, 
two sport drink stat. Score! Thanks, dude. I'll pay you back when I'm buried in endorsement deals. You can have this in the meantime. Pop art bottle painting recipe. I'm gonna be just like pro baseball player Speedo Agadu someday. It's not long before they're selling Hattie gum at the market. <laughs> These are quite the aspirations. Yeah, just like Speedo. Speedo Agadu gum. Never heard of it? Dude, you gotta get us a Speedo Agadu gum from the night market. All right. New quest unlocked. But today I'm all about flowers and getting ready for the market. Now what's nice is I can over prepare for the market and then the next day sell any remainder to Bobo's mom. That's what I think is my personal strategy. Um, because you only get, God, was it like 10 customers? It seemed, I forget what the number was, but you only get a limited number of people who come through to your booth every time. So if I made like 50 bouquets, there's probably not a strong chance for me selling everything because there's just not that many customers. I doubt they'll have orders of like, give me 20 bouquets. So... I think just being wise on that, which is why, again, I think second half of the week, using that as this, the prep time, the dedicated prep time is smart. I'm very, very interested to see what happens next in the story as well. Once we're able to afford going out into a new section of the world, you know, will we have a Nico sighting? We haven't had one ourselves, even though we were rescued. Um, Maneko herself was asleep. <laughs> Uh, knocked out. I guess not asleep. Let's be clear. Knocked out because some inconsiderate agents thought it would be okay to let a child fall into the river and not go in after them. Oh, that wasn't perfect. Dang. My first not perfect, I think. Oh, <gasps> need to keep paying attention. Okay, is this the last one? Yep, that was the last one. Uh, and I think I gave everyone their quest item. Quests, journal, people. What's kind of interesting, there's one blank spot. I wonder who I haven't met. Whoa, lots of blank spots. I wonder who I haven't met. Wow, that's way more than I thought. Um, once again, this game being bigger than I imagined. In all the best ways. It's Saturday, and don't forget about the night market. Okay. We've got a full day of crafting ahead of us. Now, we could potentially go and get some paper. I have not done that at all. Okay, box small blind box, make any dog stuff lately. All right, so they're starting to ask also for a little bit more complex stuff that I'm going to have to craft. Now, I have not. You wanted raccoon ramen, which I think is sold inside the craft shop. Uh, I won't get that quite yet. I'm wondering, I definitely will be able to get a tool or craft bench after this next market. I'm really hoping if I could get 1600, that's aiming quite high. Uh, if I could get 1600 in sales, that would be perfect because then I could get a tool which would unlock a new area and the craft bench, which would unlock more profitable things to make. Okay, let's, let's go to the paper. Oh no, I'm going to stick with what I got for now. Let's go to the gardens. I have five paper that I could sell, and if it turns out that they sell for a lot, I'll focus on paper next time. But I think as far as I'm gonna do what I know, and what I know is flower bouquets. Oh, oh my gosh, it's almost night market time, okay. I, in my in my focus on foraging, I totally forgot it was night market day. All right, so let's, let's do our last minute crafts. I'm gonna do at least one of each, and then I'll probably focus on the cat bouquets, because they tend to be a little bit easier to make. They use slightly less materials. 
and hark. There we go. Okay, can we make one more? No. Do I have... Yeah, none of my recipes use camellia. And none of these do too, so perhaps... Perhaps those are just best to sell on their own. Okay, let's head over to the night market. Second week, let's see if we can get all the way to level three. I don't know if we'll be able to. Three vendors. <laughs> Due to the increasing popularity of the night market, the market has been upgraded. We have lights now. And do we have... <gasps> And another vendor, a new booth has arrived at the night market. Oh my gosh, this looks like the developers. The two developers, I feel like this is maybe a mini, mini insert moment. Oh my God, they're so cute. A uh, new booth has arrived at the night market. The developers meows the games. Um, they're a very, very cute couple. They are both so smart and crafty, and uh, they make actually. If you are if you are digging this game, check out. They have an Etsy shop that I believe is still open. I haven't ordered there in a minute, but they do stickers and notepads and just the cutest. I have a pouch. Uh, it's not here on my desk with me, but I use it when I travel, especially um, for like my stationary supplies. It's a really cute Maneko's Night Market pouch. Welcome, welcome to the second night market of spring. The week's night market theme is the Nico Festival. My oh my, oh my. Tonight we celebrate all things Nico and we cap off this incredible night with our very own retellings of the story of Nico in a special stage production by the kids of Mount Fugu Island. Nah, this is gonna be so good. I'm in Grimentage. I believe the kids wrote this play themselves. My gosh, this might be terrible. <laughs> oh well. Now go, shop, eat, play, enjoy. And don't forget to check out the Nico play tonight. So no cat racing tonight, darn. Hey kiddos, looks like we could use a few more folks for the main event play tonight. If you're interested in participating in tonight's stage production of the story of Nico, come see me at the end, at the main stage before the end of the night. Okay, so here, ooh, because we leveled up, it looks like we can display five items. Let's do five of these. Let's do, let's start with five of the cat bouquets. I don't know if it's strategic to like not show everything that you have initially. I don't know. I don't know if there's a strategy to that or not. Just one regular. And let's do, for kicks, some sakura flowers. Let's just do three. All right, let's call the customers. Come one, come all. Welcome, welcome. Not my bag, but looking good. Well, shucks. All right, that's customer number one. Let's see if number two is any better. Ooh, okay, let's try, can we go 120? I think I have 118. Uh, sure, 118 is fine. I don't want to miss the first official sale of the day. That's bad luck. Okay, come one, come all. So this is our third customer, three Sakura. Lily really likes the Sakura flowers. Can we do 23? How about 19? Can you do 20? I can swing that. Okay, yes. Hey, hey, last time they were our big spender. Can we, can we get you to 132? Oh, my controller is like a little bit finicky there. Oh no, I gotta run. Oh shucks. Okay, people team seem to be a bit more frugal today. So let's, let's just go with the 290. <laughs> I need to make some money. Bobo's mom, two cat bouquet. Let's go with 157, 155, can you do 156? Yes, all right. Oh, Bobo's mom is back. Oh, this is maybe a little bit of a bug. All right, there we go. Let's call customers one more time. It's all the customers. Okay, Bobo's mom came twice. We had Bobo, Strawberry. I think that was maybe seven to 10 customers. Um, definitely not more than 10. <gasps> I think we leveled up. 
Hello there. Someone has been working hard over here. Thanks to vendors like you, word of Night Market is really getting around. Keep up the great work, kid. We have leveled up to level three. Keep an eye out for upgrades next week. Yes. Okie dokie. So, um, I need to save my money. So I'm actually not gonna buy anything here. Um, but I wanna get the museum expanded. Plush rabbit, oh my goodness, so cute. Kokeshi mech, oh my gosh. And outfits, buy a fresh outfit for three, oh my god. Everything is so cute. Wish there were more games here. Hope you're enjoying the market. Okay, similar. Who knew the market was still running? Hey, little dude. I should be filming. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to save my money. I really want to get further. But hopefully next market will be able to purchase a little bit more. Okay. Similar dialogues, so I'm gonna go just for the special event today. Ready to start the main event? Remember, this is the last event of the night, so the night market will end immediately afterwards. Yeah! Good luck, everybody! A super long time ago, like way before computers and stuff, lived a farmer and his daughter on a farm atop Mount Fugu. Every day, the farmer would head to the nearby river to do his washing. <laughs> Boy, it's tough being a farmer, which is who I am. I am the farmer. Why, hello there, daughter. That's me. I'm the daughter. <laughs> it's time to do our washing down by the river, which, as you know, is what we do every day. Oops, sorry. I thought this was the daughter. What we do every day. Washing. 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 <laughs> I tell ya. Nothing beats doing our regular chores on an uneventful day. But little did they know, today was going to be anything but uneventful. In fact, one can say it was eventful. The farmer and his daughter were about to be greeted by a visitor. Time to sing the washing song. Do 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 washing, cleaning, normal day, do do do. Hey, Bobo, I, I mean, Dad, look, a giant sakura is floating down the river. You're up, kiddo. Oh, it's me. Oh, my God. This is so cute. Wow, I've never seen such a large sakura bud in all my life, daughter. Dad, I think it's about to bloom. <laughs> Franny's in the front row there. It's a giant cat. Not just any cat, Dad, but a giant cat. <laughs> Riding. So good. I said it was a giant cat. I know, but you weren't supposed to. What's your name, giant cat? <laughs> this cat suit is itchy. You can call me itchy. Ahem. I am the sun cat, Nico. Welcome to our farm, Nico-chan. This is a sign of good things to come. The great sun cat Nico was more than the farmer and his daughter could have hoped for. With Nico's help, life on the farm flourished. Nico, looks like that pesky crow is back causing havoc on our farm. Caw, I'm causing havoc. <laughs> ah, get him, Nico, get him. Boom. Hiss. Ka, I know when I am bested, Ka. I will leave, Ka. But not all the villagers in town were as enamored with Nico. As the farm began to flourish, neighboring farmers whose lands did not started to suspect Nico a curse. Hey. Oh boy, it's that rival farmer from that next farm over. That's right, it's me, rival farmer of the next farm over. It's all that cat's fault that your farm is flourishing while ours are dying. I'm going to chase you, cat. Run, Nico, to the woods. Ah. Uh... 
And that's the last we'll see of that cat. Good riddance. <laughs> Nico, banished from the community, was left all alone in the woods. Days turned to weeks. Weeks turned to months. Months turned to years. I guess how that's that's how time works, huh? <laughs> Daughter, the farm has been in shambles ever since Nico left. I'm going to find him. Dude, daughter, it's too dangerous in these woods. <laughs> At least wear a jacket. <gasps> Nico, where are you? Ka, I am back. Ah! Ka, you are all alone. Now you are going to die, Ka. <laughs> this is taking a turn. Not into it. It's been a bunch of days and I haven't heard from my daughter. She must have died in the woods. Oh man, that's almost worse than our farm rivalry when you think about it. Yeah, it sucks majorly. That kid was dope. Nothing can save you now, Ka. There is no giant cat. Oh, speaking of cat. I had a cat just jump into my room. <laughs> there is no giant cat to save you now, Ka. There might be a cat jumping up on my desk in a second. Just then, the giant cat appeared to save her now. Um, <laughs> I forgot what's going on. Back off, bird. Nico. Oh, yikes. It's you again, Ka. Drat, you have bested me again. You win. This time, I am gone for real. Ka. Let's go home, Nico. I live here now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to play this again and see how answering poorly can affect the play. I'm ready to go home. Yay, that's the right line. I mean, <clears throat> let's go. Oh, cute. Daughter, you have returned, and you have found Nico. No, Dad, Nico found me. Oh, my cat is wanting to jump up. This is Scrambles. He just wanted to say a quick hello. And uh, he's going to be heading out now. All right, back without a cat, but we can continue with the show. <laughs> Everything is good again. Also, I have changed my ways, and I now welcome Nico to our town. Oh, neat. <laughs> For real, the suit is just like crazy. Y'all better show me some respect now. Oh. Again. First playthrough, I always go with what the sort of good good person would choose, the person who is going along with the flow. So this is truly a night market miracle. And everyone loved Nico forever and ever. The end? <laughs> oh wow, what a phenomenal play. Take a bow, kids. I love Yay! <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Don't forget, next week is the eagerly awaited flower festival, so don't miss out. You can all leave now. <laughs> you acquired the Nico costume. You can change your outfit at your wardrobe anytime. The trophy will be delivered to your home. Heck yes. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so. Okay, so. We're at level three. Um, items sold this week, total, we only sold five. Uh, I think I drove a little bit of a hard bargain. I may do a little bit less next time, um, just to, just to try and get more items moving. Now, I don't have any energy, yep, so I might as well just go to sleep. And tomorrow we should have enough money to get, I'm gonna get an axe, so I can continue and get some lumber. I think the box flowers probably need lumber to make. Um, and I do know a couple of other crafts that need lumber in the paper, paper crafting section. I don't know how we'll get dye, though. That's going to be quite interesting. Look at that! Our second trophy! So it looks like we'll have enough. There's going to be four for each season, four seasons. So... Probably, I, I guess is what I'm assuming is going to be the structure. Okay, so let's see. 
We still have two hearts. Do you say anything different? Nope, nothing different. You still want the gum. You still want the raccoon ramen. Okay. Oh, I didn't get the chocolate box. Um, I think... Yes, I still have stuff to sell, so... Let's go and sell and try and make a bit of a profit. See what we can get. Okay, so I know we've got... Let's just sell all the cat bouquets. Let's sell the kokedamas. Doo -doo. For 69? Nice. Um, and... I'm gonna sell a couple of the camellia flowers. It's gonna take a minute, so I'm just gonna fast forward through that. Cut, do a jump cut right here. <laughs> Years later, I have sold the, um, actually I'm gonna get the tool first just to be sure I have that. Sold everything, I have $1,600 now. I just went kind of ham and just went and sold a little bit of everything because I figured it's better to get the tools now and I can always work my way back up. All right, wood axe, perfect. Uh, in fact, I would let anyone go anywhere they darn well please if they were carrying a wood axe. Uh, good luck out there, little dude. All right, thank you, Hank. And let me, actually, hold on. I'm gonna talk to Hank, because I wonder if Hank sells any dye or anything. No, okay. I was gonna say, because I, I didn't know if Hank perhaps sold smaller items and the pickaxes on the side, kind of like with Bobo's mom. But it looks like I should be able to afford... Yes, the woodcraft craft bench. All right, so now we have another craft bench and another tool. We've got a lot open to us. I have no money, but that's okay. So today I may have, may have a bit of a shorter day because I can't afford to buy snacks to keep my energy up. But, let's see what kind of things we'll be able to potentially craft. Um, window. Six lumber. Okay. Paper, we still have all of that. Okay. Cool. So, no recipes yet, but I think we'll be able to get lumber now that we have the wood axe. So, let's see. And I think this may take us a little bit further in the story. The Dark Forest. Ooh. Okay, it's before the Birch Forest. That's cool. Seems a bit ominous, though. New location discovered. Time to rescue some... Liberate some cats. Okay, six of them. I see one very clearly. Wait till you turn around. Ooh. The tree trunk of a wood tree. I don't have time for this right now. There are cats waiting to be liberated. All right, there's no one behind you. You don't have to look back. Not a big deal. Here we go. Can we go into this outhouse? Ah, okay, I have to help all the cats before investigating this very suspicious cabin. All right, well, let's see where else where else are these six now five cats hiding? Okay, I bet he's gonna make a switch quick flipperoo a quick switcheroo Now unlike the others they're all sticking around here. They're not tired of this nonsense uh, So we're gonna have to Ooh, What is this? There's a walkie-talkie. All right, we're gonna have to do a little distraction moment. Oh, that looks like a trap. <gasps> oh, but if I step in it... <gasps> oh, jeez. Toggle arc that scared the living daylights out of me. Uh, toggle sneak mode. Right bumper. Okay. Right bumper. Oh, that's my left bumper. Okay, 
sneaky sneak back. I don't know why I had to, in my head, to just stay quiet, but okay. Just as a small note, it said right bumper, but for me it was my left, um... Okay, that's three. Now we have two. Interesting, we've got this light here. Looks like this lantern is lit by a flame. Blow out the fire? Yeah. Aw, oh, heck no. I ain't getting paid enough to stand in the dark. Oh, that was easy. Ah, dropped a walkie-talkie, I see. All right, well, that's how we're gonna get that last cat. Sweet, so let's run back around and do a little distraction, shall we? don't know where he's gonna move, so let's see if we can use this walkie-talkie. I'll make scary noises. Cut it out, you idiots. <laughs> Aw, shucks. Okay. Fine. They've all been scaring each other already. Hello? Ah, child's voice! I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, that's true. I guess the true scary stories all have children in them. All right, it should be safe to examine the cabin now. So we we have another instance of these agents capturing cats. Don't know why. Oh, what's this? Press and hold. Oh, once it hits the bottom, you press and hold and then release once it gets to the point. Yeah, I think that wasn't super clear to me the first time I read it. I was able to figure it out, but it definitely took a second. Uh, let's try and bust this door down. Whoa! Ah! It's the notorious Mount Fugu axe murderer! What is that red stuff? <laughs> hey, there's something in the cabin. An artifact. <gasps> Another piece! Nico's scarf. Hmm. The agents have left the dark forest. Yeah! yeah. You can now harvest wood tree stumps. <gasps> and cats have returned to the dark forest. Hey, Red. Oh. I'm surprised to find you here. I would have sworn you'd be too chicken to enter the dark forest. Did you really think Nico would be out here? <laughs> That's what you're doing, right? Looking for Nico. Well, guess what? I actually know where Nico went. Where? Too late. Smell you later, Red. <gasps> Also, Red, isn't that what your character- is your character or the rival called Red in, um, Pokemon? Like, OG Pokemon. Again, maybe I'm just pro projecting all of my nostalgias into this, but... Okay, we've got five wood, heck yes. We haven't pet a cat in a minute, let's pet this cat. Watch out for my axe, little one, I don't want to smack you! Chopped five wood. And I'm going to do a fair amount of wood today, because wouldn't you know it? I'm here already, I might as well. Whoops, that wasn't great. Just three. There we go, that should be five, yeah. Alright, let me... hmm. There's no flowers or anything here. Uh... I'm going to go to the gardens to collect some flowers just so we can get a little bit of crafting in. Because I would like to maybe unlock a few more recipes. Hey, Minexo. What you, what's his nickname? Did you see Nico? Did you see Nico? No sign of Nico there. I'm starting to wonder about these artifacts I'm finding around the island, though. Hmm. Let's hang on to those. Any clue is a good clue at this point. Yeah. See anything else unusual out there? I did happen to run to Miyako, and she... What? Hmm? 
Ah, I knew she was going to do this. Do what? Oh, nothing. It's just that Miyako has always been a thorn in my side, like way before you were even here. She must have heard about our search for Nico. Uh, she's always trying to get a piece of Bobo's action. I'm just so... Wait, <laughs> did, did you just third person yourself? My action? <clears throat> I said she's always trying to get in on my action. No, I'm pretty sure you called yourself Bobo. Forget that. Stay focused here. We need to throw Miyako off her scent. Well, what do we do about it? Leave her to me. I have some ideas. In the meantime, you should keep searching for any clues that lead us to Nico. That's what Mineko would do. <laughs> They're becoming good friends. <laughs> Peace outies. <laughs> um, if you can't make a little little gentle fun out of your friends, then who who can? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I think we don't have a ton of energy, so actually I don't think I need to even go out to the gardens. I can just pick all the flowers here. I think we'll probably be able to only make one craft. But that'll still be better than nothing. So camellias. What I think maybe, until we get a recipe for camellias, I may just sell all of them for a little bonus money. Hmm. I may not have enough. I th Maybe I'll have enough to make a craft. Not entirely sure. Oh, heck yes. Okay, let's make a kokodama. I think that'll be pretty good. We might have enough for one cat bouquet. Oh, one short thing. Okay, and again with the wood. Hey, we can make a window. Yeah, why not? Wait for the white lines to line up with the saw. Okay. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> Woohoo! I made a window. I'm sure someone will ask me for a window in the near future. I don't have box flower. So, hmm. I guess I don't have any energy. I don't know why I'm, I came back out. I'll do I'll do a quick run around and see if there's any quests that I could probably take. Two matcha lattes, one black ramen. Mailbox. Nobody wants a window. Okay. <laughs> Walked around town. Nobody wanted anything that I had, <laughs> so I think we're okay to rest up. What may be most useful then is let's finish up some of the quests that we can. Um, I think specifically we can get the two matcha lattes for Bobo's sister. I'm blanking on her name, but I think that's something we can definitely do. And... There is raccoon ramen for, I think, our rival. So I, I think we can get those two, and perhaps we'll get some good quests. Those. $80. <sighs> okay, if I can get 160 Oh, we can also get the soda pop star. We do need three. So wait, how much money do we need? So for the soda, that's going to be 1200 or not 1200 120 Raccoon ramen is 80. Matcha latte, I'm writing this down. Matcha latte, we need two, so that's gonna be 80. So, 18, so we need $280. I bet you I could get enough crafty stuff done to get that much money. That's gonna be the goal today. All right, let me go pick some flowers and fingers crossed we can get crafty crafty. Right, returned home. Here we go. I think I think we can make it so that we can craft enough to make money for all I think all of the side quests that I listed out earlier. Um Yeah, Kokodama I think is it was 86. Ooh. Oh good, that was barely perfect. And the cat bouquet is like 50-something. 
So we always want to focus on the kokodamas if we can. Yay! We can also sell the window. The window didn't seem like it was that expensive to get items for because it was lumber and paper. I had enough to, to make one and I don't have a side quest that's requesting them. But... So if I need to, I can sell the window. Oh wait, did I already sell the window? I might have already sold the window. I can't remember. Oh, I didn't. Okay. I thought about it. Uh, cause again, we, my goal is to get to 280, but maybe we can get it. Oh yeah, there we go. We didn't, we didn't need to do anything else. So let's get that raccoon ramen. Let's get the two matcha lattes. And then let's get the three soda pop stars. And that is going to give us all three of the side first side quests for our little buddies. Which I'm very excited about because I'm hoping we're going to get some recipes that we can use with our crafting benches. Right now there are actually quite a few we can't because uh, we don't have access to dye yet. Here we go, Bobo sister. Two matcha latte. Oh, thanks, kid. I mean, it's gonna wreck my insides, but that's tomorrow's problem. I feel that. Let me see if I have anything for you. A cubism cat painting for the art craft bench. 10 woods. Okay, I can get 10 wo I have 10 wood, okay. Awesome. <laughs> Looks like the right amount of wood to repair the stairs. It's also cool that I'm spending the prime of my life doing house repair tasks for my dull family, but whatever, I guess. <laughs> Oh, this is Bobo's house. Oh, that's why they always hang out in front of it. Okay. Hey, that ain't bad. Let me see if I have anything for you. We learned the scroll sky painting recipe for the art craft bench. Oh, two windows. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm glad I didn't sell that window. Okay. Yay. Oh, score. Gran never buys this stuff. Gimme, gimme. Well, since you asked so nice. Let me see if I got anything for you, Red. <laughs> uh, lantern recipe for the paper craft bench. Raccoon donut at the night market. Okay, so more of our quests are now referring to what we need to get at the night market, incentivizing us to do a little bit better there. Let's see, I had the matcha lattes. It's pop star. Uh, we got three soda pop star. Oh, thanks. I'm gonna save these forever or until my next favorite band arrives on the scene, whichever comes first. <laughs> uh, Hank the Hunk tote bag for the sewing craft bench. We don't have art or sewing yet, so this is exciting. We've got recipes already in the docket for them. Um, all right, so we need to get next a boy band boyfriend pillow. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. So while we got a lot of things that I can't really quite get uh, or work on right now. Um, what's exciting is we do have a new recipe for lantern, which is paper that I don't have. Okay. But we, we can craft a window, so we can make Bobo's house a little bit nicer. So we're gonna be focusing on that. And I think actually it's gonna be Wednesday, right? So we're gonna have to focus on crafting more of the flower stuff anyways, because uh, Nightmark is, is coming up and we know, oh, it's only Tuesday, Never mind. I was gonna say we know with the Night Market coming up, we gotta, we gotta hone in. Dad still wants box flowers, which we don't have. We don't have box flowers. I think we're going to have to buy some more night market stuff. I think that's really the big thing. Oh, golden hairball. Heck yes. We'll take that for sure. Beautiful. Five more wood. I'll do one more and then we'll go to the beach area. Because then we'll be able to pick up some flowers, do a little bit of crafting. Some hairballs but mostly I just want to get more paper. Uh, I wonder if I craft a couple windows, cause I bet the windows, I mean, they were going for like 86 at the store. Uh, so I wonder if I craft some of those, they could go for much higher at the market as well. 
Okay, so let's do now the birch forest, not the beach forest, the birch forest. But beach is another type of wood, right? Birch forest, here we come. Especially now that I know how to do this. Five paper, nice. I'm gonna focus on the paper stuff first. I do like this. Once once I got it, uh, this sort of more interactive way of chopping, uh, it's, it's sort of nice. <laughs> okay. There aren't really... I thought there were a few flowers here. Ooh, a gold hairball. Um... <laughs> me just assuming because it's gold it's gonna have more value. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong there. Okay, let's maybe just do the hairballs. Um, we won't get flowers today. We'll focus on flowers tomorrow. The loop of this game is quite nice. I like that each area has its primary thing that you collect. Hairballs can be everywhere once you've liberated the cats. Um, oh, I did have flowers up here. Oh, shoot. I should have just done that. Um, okay, but we can craft a window, so I'm going to focus there. Craft one window. Yes, please. I've always wanted to use a lumber saw like this, but I am terrified absolutely terrified of cutting off a finger or falling on it and slicing my face off. I don't know. Just the margin for error seems quite high. I know that there's um, tools now that apparently are so responsive to the human like to skin or they can tell like Oh, is Bobo's sister not out? Shucks. I guess it's too late. Everyone's going to bed. Uh, there are tools now that are so strong and powerful and smart. They can, like, stop as soon as they feel skin or something. You won't, barely will get cut. I don't know if I'd ever trust that, though. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to test it. Okay, so we have the windows. We just won't be able to give that today. Sorry, Dad. I have not made the box plant. You requested it ages ago. <laughs> Whoops. So now it's Wednesday. Now it's Wednesday. So, which is kind of a perfect fit because we did the the window quest. We did all the energy for that. And if I can make another window, great. But I think what I'm going to do is focus on collecting flowers today for night, night market bouquet time. Okay, give you the window. Or windows. These windows look all right. I love that we're helping our friends fix their homes, too. Like, ugh, that's just nice. Yokai painting. Ooh, maybe you have time to make me a little something. I'd love a cute little cat purse. I'd love to make a cat purse. So I wonder if we could possibly combine recipes like the yokai painting with making a purse. And then I could make that yokai bag for my friend. I have not forgotten about his request. Just ask for something too advanced for me from day one. I will say I really appreciate how smooth this game's feeling. I haven't talked really at all about a lot of the technical stuff, um, but it feels really good. Like running, I think the speed feels very nice. Um, I'm pretty particular like with my walk and run speeds. I don't know why, especially in games like this, you don't ever want to feel like you're having to slowly trudge through the world. And this feels nice and speedy, so collecting things doesn't feel like a hassle. I also very much appreciate that like when I interact with something, the animation is nice and quick. Like I'm not getting tired of waiting for Mane Maneko to pocket everything every time. Uh, sometimes 
the animation can get a little too long with certain things. Like I'm, I'm also playing Fay Farm right now. Uh, I've not put in a ton of time into it. I'm about 10 hours in. Uh, just got into like season two, so I'm in summer. Is that what that is? Um, I've noticed there are some, not all, but some animations where I'm like, if I enact them, I'm just like, oh, because they take just enough time that my brain is like, come on, let's get on with the next thing. Um, and I haven't felt that with any of Maneko's animations or any of the like stuff that we work through when we're moving through the game world. Ooh, last flower, here we go. Okay. So, time to go back, craft some bouquets. I think the loop is really nice. I don't know if it's because maybe I'm prioritizing things in a funky manner. I do feel like I've gotten a lot of recipes and I have not the means to make them. But it may be because instead of focusing on buying things at the night market, for example, uh, maybe I'm focusing on doing the side quests and that's changing some of the order. Oh, dang. And there's a small, I don't know if it's my controller or if it's the game, but you'll notice when we get into a menu like right here, it'll go from the second one back to the first, like that. Um, there's like a little bit of that input like moment, like it's thinking or resetting. Um, oh, dang. Okay, but we've got pretty good. We've got two... Two cat bouquets, one kokedama, uh, two. One was just not perfect. So my my goal is usually it seems like if we go into the festival with like a good five of each, that's probably more than enough. I'm hoping to maybe. Can I make a window? I'd love to try selling a window. I think that may prove to be quite fruitful. Yes. Let's craft a window. Yes. 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 Oh, that's so satisfying. Okay, can I craft another one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're definitely going to be selling windows. Home improvement in addition to... Oh, balls. In addition... Pff, disastrous. A poop! <laughs> I made garbage woodcraft. You know what? I'm still gonna try to sell it at the market. <laughs> Who knows? One person's garbage woodcraft is another person's treasure. Don't know where I went wrong with the inputs there. Ooh, that was a rough one. Thank goodness I redeemed myself. Okay, this is probably good enough. I won't make another window because... I can't imagine I'll sell more than three. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll I'll be in for a surprise. It's interesting. The loading animation seems to be a little bit like jumpy. Uh, it seems to be not the smoothest, but that's okay because I've never felt the game be not smooth in any way. So that's definitely not a, a actual complaint. It's just interesting because, um, yeah, the loading screen animation doesn't seem to be running smoothly, but the rest of the game is, so that's fine. Okie dokie. So we're going to collect all the flowers. I will say I'm very much looking forward to the next season. I think the days go by quickly enough and the night market being such a hallmark of the week makes it feel like the weeks go by quickly enough as well that this, the way the seasons are structured is perfect. I think if the days were a little bit longer, I probably would feel like this is dragging on or like, oh, this is getting repetitive in a not nice way. But so far, even though we have been doing primarily the same thing, I personally am still feeling very happy with it. Like, I'm still feeling like I'm enjoying my time. Excuse me. Um, especially if I was playing this just on my own, not recording it. Uh, golly, I could see myself getting totally lost in just the flow of doing this and getting familiar with the routine of like, okay, 
I'm gonna be collecting flowers for one part of the day. I'm gonna be crafting for the second part of the day. I don't seem to be using all three sections a lot of the time. It seems like two parts of the day seem good enough. Like the day and the evening, this, what is it? Or, I forget how they, what they call the third part of the day. Maybe that was evening and we have like sunset or night. No, it was day, evening, night. Um, it seems like night isn't really getting much use, so I'm curious if that will change in the future. Like, as the story evolves, maybe we'll have night missions where we can go like look for Nico at different parts of the areas of the island. Right now, the flow of just walking around the village, doing your chores, it's pretty, pretty good. Um, All right. I can, I swear, the steam on the rice cooker is perfection. I feel like I can smell like that wonderful starchy smell of rice oh, just by looking at the steam. Okay. Like, I, I don't want to have not perfects. <laughs> Good, good, good. Oh, oh, cute. I love that you can see both outfits. All right, time to sleep. I really want, there was a little overalls outfit that was so cute. I really want that. But I can't forget to get the blind box and to see if I can find chocolate uh, this time at the night market. Okay, it's rainy, rainy springtime. I wonder, folks were looking for black ramen and there was another kind of ramen, I feel like, and I don't think I've really seen that. Let me see if maybe the inventory has changed. Ooh, has it? Truffle ramen, no. Okay, we're gonna close. Nothing else has come into the shop. And you're still looking for the Sakura fan, which uh, we don't have the recipe. I'm trying to think. Maybe once I get the market another level up, maybe that's what's gonna help. Oh, prune juice. My, my neighbor wanted prune juice. Hold on. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna sell a bouquet, get that prune juice for my neighbor. Oh, did she want two prune juices? Hold on, I'm gonna go ask, because money is tight around here. I don't want to buy two prune juices and not not use one. I could eat it, but I find that what's nice is the energy seems to be pretty balanced to the point where I can usually collect most everything I need uh, without having to eat food. I don't feel a huge pressure to spend money on food. Because also by the time I get in and out of an area, the daytime has shifted, so yeah. The bus doesn't run at night, so. Okay, two prune juices. Okay, so I need $80. So actually, let me just finish collecting the flowers in the town and then I can go for it. Did you want anything? Okay, you wanted a cat purse. You wanted black ramen. doing a little crafting just to just use what I have uh, and then sell it so that we can get the two prune juices for grandma for granny make sure we can like get all of the easily accessible and purchasable side quests done Yeah, maybe Black Ramen comes in when the town levels up and more people show up. We have more stuff that comes into the general store. Okay, so let's sell one for 86. Perfect. And the prune juice. It's outside. 
I'm really excited. I'm going to be going to Japan soon. Relatively soon. In a, in a couple months. And <laughs> I just cannot wait to try all the vending machines. Um, I think that's what I'm most excited for. Like, I'm excited to see the sights and do cool things, but just eating the food. <laughs> that's what I really am most looking forward to. For me, this will be very helpful. <laughs> Let me see what I have around here for you. Band sign? It's you, the kid who's repairing people's houses. What's mild house need, you ask? Two lanterns. I will take two lanterns. Okay, and I need fancy paper, which I cannot get yet. All right, so let's end out the day by picking some flowers. We'll go to the gardens. And um, that'll be that'll be it for the day, I think. <laughs> Again, I, I think while a little bit repetitive, it's not bad as a player. I don't feel bad. And I think they're pacing it just so that when I probably would be like, all right, okay, what are we doing next? Um, the season's going to change. And I imagine as soon as the season changes, uh, especially with the way things have been balanced, I'll have enough money to get like the next tool, which will take us to the next area. I suspect maybe different flowers will be showing up around town and maybe even in the gardens. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happens when, what is it, spring, summer hits. Uh, maybe that's when we'll get like the bright blue and the lily flower too. And I wonder if Camellia will continue or if there will be like a rare flower that shows up uh, only during the summer as well. Okay, so let's go back, finish out our craft for the night and then go to bed. And then, wait, is it Thursday? I think it's Thursday. <laughs> I lose track. The one thing is I feel like there isn't, um, Oh, good. Ooh. Uh, there isn't, this isn't necessarily a negative because I don't think I went into this game feeling like this would be a major system, um, but talking with the villagers isn't something that necessarily builds a relationship. It's the crafts that you bring. Um, so I think if anyone came into this with the expectation of like, oh, this is also going to have like, maybe not dating, but a full social sim system. It's like, no, that's not what this game is. Um, but I didn't come into that with that expectation, so I feel like I feel very fulfilled by the fact that this is about crafting. This is like a cute narrative crafting game. Um, and I, I'm very, very happy with how it's turned out. I think I was, I was very nervous because I was like, oh, I've been looking forward to this game for so many years. You know, and who knows, maybe as we play, things will come up that I'm like, mm, maybe not, or maybe things won't sit as well for the entire game. That's why we're playing it together, to see. But especially with some of the stuff they introduced early on, I'm really hopeful for how this narrative will evolve. Okay, so again, today is night market day. We have to go all out in picking flowers. I think... Oh, God. I already have a couple windows built. I think I might do it. I think I might go to the beach, birch. I keep calling it the beach forest. The birch forest. I might go there just so I can build a few more windows because I think that it may be more profitable instead of the bouquets. Everyone's trying to fix up their house, right? It's that season. You want good windows before the summer hits. Things that you can open and close easily. Good good screens to filter out those mosquitoes. Bugs that fly in at night. Oh man. Ah, we had mos like the worst mosquitoes this year, I feel like. In a long time. Um, I usually am pretty susceptible to mosquito bites. Like, I feel like if there's a mosquito in the room, it's going to bite me. That's just the nature of things at this point. Um, but I usually don't get a ton of mosquito bites unless I go out camping. This year though, 
golly, I feel like I had a constant mosquito bite somewhere on my body all summer. Um, and they are so irritating. So I'm really hoping, uh, and I'm really looking forward to the winter because then we don't have to deal with that. But you know, that's why I think the windows are gonna be doing pretty well ahead of summer. <laughs> Me making the excuse for the, <laughs> the economics of what I'm selling at my night market stand. Okay, we've got paper. Now, I hope we have enough wood to make another window. Because by the time I get back home, it'll already be night. So I won't be able to do... I can only pick up a hairball. Let's see if I can find a gold one. Um, uh, orange. That works. Um, so hopefully I have enough wood. That's another orange one. Okay. Yeah, the three three part day with two of the parts pretty much being the most useful. Um, so it's really a two part day for me and how I'm playing it. Golly, I'm I'd be very curious because um, you know I'm playing this ahead of the launch, so there's not really any review guides or other people telling me like their strategies. So I'm curious if I'm missing like a whole big element of the game <laughs> that I'm only gonna find out once the game launches <laughs> and I've finished playing. Um, but, I don't know. I think two-part days is nice. It feels good. Ah, oh, shoot. And I can't make anything else. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> oh well, we'll still have a good time at the market. Remember, we have to at least get the blind box for our friend. Um... I feel like we probably, I keep forgetting, the fishing rod was $400, so we could probably go get the fishing rod uh, this next, this last week of spring. Ooh, I see a box of chocolates too. Maybe we can afford that. I see the lights. Oh, more lights, it's becoming even more vibrant. The upgrade is enacted. Do we have another vendor? Heck yes, a new booth has arrived. <gasps> Street food, oh my gosh. Looks like we've got maybe some oyster, or not oyster, octopus maybe? Oh, is that a red bean, red bean pastry? <gasps> Another, oh my gosh, a seafood, fresh fish vendor. <sighs> Delicious. Welcome, welcome to the third night market of spring. This week's night market theme is the flower festival. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, and then another yes. Make sure to stop by this stage before the great end of the night to participate in the great flower hunt. I cannot wait. Waiting spikes my anxiety. <laughs> now go. Shop, eat, play, enjoy. And don't forget, we'll be having the flower hunt festivities later tonight, so don't miss out. Oh, hey kiddo, you seem to be here every week. That's great. Don't forget to stop by the stage before the end of the night for the flower hunt event. I love this, and you know what also is really nice is festivals being on the same day of every week so you don't feel like you're missing something like I know every time I go to a festival there's gonna or I go to the night market there's gonna be a festival event I feel like in Stardew Harvest Moon Rune Factory like all the games that have festivals or special events throughout the seasons golly half the time I'm like oh shoot it's the day and I forget it's nice to have it be on a steady schedule <laughs> okay so let's uh display some items let's do Let's do, I don't know, five camellia flowers. Let's do, hmm. We have so many sakura flowers. Oh my gosh. Uh, we'll do one kokodama. That's just average. We'll do three perfect cat bouquets. Perfect cat bouquets. Um, let's show all six of these. <laughs> Uh, let's do two of the windows, and I don't know, let's see if someone wants the garbage wood craft. Why not? Call customers. You never know. 
Welcome, welcome. Looks like they're interested in buying one Kokodama. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Come one, come all. This is customer number two. Two Kokodama. Ooh, 290. Let's, let's see. 259? Uh. Can, can you do 276? Awesome. Let's, yes. I mean, we're at like three or four hearts with her, so. Uh, let's call customers. Welcome, welcome. One Kokodama. Uh, 109. Mm -hmm. Can you do 113? I can swing that, all right. I think maybe this is the, where the friendship is coming into play. Uh, welcome, welcome. Oh, Rio, come on. Come one, come all. This may be our last customer. You got it. Oh, one more. You're back. Second round, all right. 117. You, you always want to try and, like, undercut me a little. It's not undercutting completely, but can you do 128? Thank you. Oh, Granny, hello. Two cat bouquet. Nope, this is definitely worth 142. <sighs> 142, 145, the difference is so negligible. Let's do 142. Um. Oh my goodness, we're getting so many more customers today, I feel like. One cat boo- Oh! I should save her for Bobo's college fund, if there's even a college in this town. Okay, that may have been our last person. Yep. All right. So we didn't level up again, but that makes sense. You know, there's going to be higher amounts of experience points or cash needed to level up the market. Um, but we did make a pretty good record sale. So let's do chocolate box. Definitely want to get that from my buddy. Uh, black jelly beans. Ooh, is that like black licorice? Um, oh my god, cute plushies. Look at it's the Meowza game! Oh, that's so cute. Okay, what awesome foods. Catfish, taiyaki, rock and rolls, saffron rice ball. Oh my god, saffron fried rice balls. Sounds delicious. I'm gonna get the rock and rolls to donate to the museum. Uh, we'll close that. I hope to see you and your money again. Oh, I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. Jellyfish and rainbow trout. Now, I'm not gonna grab any fish from Daisuke because I think we'll be able to afford the fishing rod. Um, let's see if we can now go get the blind box. I think that was only like, only. I think that was about 80. Um. Okay, so they're saying the same stuff. Let's see, can we get, can we get a blind box? 50, all right, so that wasn't so bad. Maybe, I mean, I have 640. I know I just need 400 for the, uh, what you call it? Um, for the fishing rod, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get maybe two of these rocks. I'm gonna get one more black dye, because we have not found anywhere else to get dye yet. And let me get... <laughs> 150. That's so pricey. Ugh. No, I'm gonna save a little bit of money. I would love to not have to, like, super scrounge throughout the week. So, we're gonna save that. I think, I think I did pretty good though. I splurged quite a bit. I bought a lot. And uh, now we're gonna try the flower hunt. Okay. Oh gosh, if it's anything like the Stardew Easter egg hunt, I, I may not win this one. <laughs> is everyone pumped for the great flower hunt? I am as excited as legally allowed. <laughs> In all honesty, I'm not sure what this event is, but my happiness derives from just being here. Left and right cat are my favorite. We've scattered novelty flowers all across the market. For every one you collect, we award you a point. Whoever has the most points by the end of the event is this week's winner. Oh, and keep your eye out for any gold flowers. Gold flowers are worth two points. Kidoki. So without further ado, wait, I have one more ado. Will there be a time limit? 
Oh yes, you will have 60 seconds to collect as many flowers as you can. So without any further ado, let's go. All right, here we go. I see one right there. Get out of my way. Okay, I need to pick up flowers. Everyone else is at a standstill. I'm moving so fast. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I went the wrong way. There's like none down here. Okay. Okay, this seems to use maybe the similar track. Oh my god, am I, I see nothing, I see nothing. <gasps> I'm trapped. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I hope, I hope I'm doing okay. I have no idea. <gasps> Am I gonna be able to get all the flowers? I'm gonna go for this gold one first. Is that all of them? Possibly. Have I missed some really critical pathway? Oh god. Oh my god, yes. Oh geez, I wish there was another gold for three, two, one. Oh, 31 points. What a flower hunt we witnessed tonight. Let's find out who the big winner is this week, shall we? We shall. We majorly shall. This week's runner up with 26 points, Miyako. Yes. And this week's winner with a grand total of 31 points, Maneko. That's right. Well done. Anything you'd like to say to the crowd? <laughs> Better luck next time, folks. <laughs> I wonder if that, like, negatively impacts any relations with people. <laughs> I've been so salty of a winner. Uh, I'll say it was fun. Oh, phew. Yay! I have a good time when other people are having a good time. Well, another successful night market in the books. Let's look forward to the next. Don't forget to come back next week for the spring parade. We're done here. Go home. The trophy will be delivered to your house. Can't go home. Or no, what is it? You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Well, here we go. Success. Now we've got... I'm just doing a quick recipe check. Oh, I should have bought more rocks. We could have made a card game. Where do I get those rocks? Maybe at the fishing area. Time to sleep. Yeah! I like the trophies. I think that's such a nice way of sort of denoting progress throughout the year. Uh, denoting perhaps progress throughout the game. Game saved. You know what? Let's change outfits just for the heck of it. I will be Nico. Ma Nico's. Oh, so fancy. Yeah, I haven't changed my outfit in a long time, so let's do that. <laughs> so cute. All right, a chocolate box. We got that for you. This is a beauty. Our viewers are going to go nuts for the footage we are going to get with this. Oh, here's something for you. <gasps> yes, the Sakura fan recipe. Hey, Maneko, did you know they used to sell Wagyu beef ramen at the night market? I would love to try one of those. All right, you all are getting fancy. <laughs> I don't think I've had that before. That sounds delicious. I got a blind box for you. Oh, so this is a box mill, huh? So I open it and see what I get? Yep, it's a crab box mill. Cool. I don't know what to do with this thing now, but the feeling of opening a box for a surprise was quite a rush. <laughs> Let me see if I have anything for you. You learned the flower apron recipe. You ever hear of Snappy the Snail? He's my favorite game character. There's supposed to be a box mill of him and everything, but I was and I was hoping to find one of those. You ever see a snappy the snail boximal? Maybe we can make a trade of some sort. All right, tradesies, huh? So it looks like I can get some more blind boxes, but I'll have to open them myself. Ooh, that's right. I have to donate to the museum. Let me make sure to do that. 
so excited. First donation. Wait, I thought I had... I got food. Was that the wrong food? <laughs> I thought, I thought, I thought... Hello. <laughs> well, shucks. Hmm. Maybe that wasn't the right kind of food. Can we look? Looks like rock and rolls to me. Huh. Interesting. I'm not gonna eat it. Maybe, maybe that's, um, again, because this is a pre-launch copy, maybe that's a bug. Uh, I, I don't want to have that money go to waste quite yet, so let's see if maybe it'll get accepted on another day. Buy a fishing rod. Heck yes. I hear that bus drivers are granting access to the docks for anyone with a fishing rod. Nice. If you happen to head down that way, say hi to my buddy, Fish and Fred, for me, will you? The fellow knows everything there is to know about fishing. He's like the Hank the Hunk of fishing. Okay. And this was again 1200. Woof. Hey there, little troublemaker. So now we have a fishing area we can go to, which is pretty cool. I wonder if we'll have to rescue cats there as well. Let's see. Oh, we gotta pick up this. I wanna make sure I still have enough energy to fish. Uh, that'll be quite important. Oh, <gasps> the duck! Man, it's wild to me that we've only explored really the south side of the island. We have not gone anywhere north yet. Uh, Jam-packed geog- Ooh, whoa! Very cool. Wow, this is a big new area. Jeez, it's already eight o'clock. Where the heck is that delivery boy? Oh, he doesn't want to deliver to you. Hm? Are you the delivery boy those agents are looking for? Yeah. Shouldn't you be delivery boying? No. <laughs> it's just that all I do is work. Work, work, and then more work. I bust my back for those lemon heads, and for what? Am I... True. I worked hard in school so I could eventually find work. Now that I'm working, I'm saving up so I can go back to school again. So I can graduate school and find work again? At what point do I begin living my life? Oh, delivery boy. I feel that. Seems like you have some problems that I am not equipped to handle. Well, you could help me by taking on my job. I don't need it anymore. But how will you afford anything without a job? Smelling nature is still free. <laughs> Delivery boy, I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> you really don't mind if I take over for you? Mind? I've never felt more free in my life. And what will you do now? I'm already doing it. Heck yeah. Go for it. Hello. There you are, worker kid. I'm starving. I'll have my usual. A curry to go. D d do you have money for the food? I'll pay you back when you bring me my meal, as always. Come on, you know the drill. Get my curry to go from Fred's at the end of the dock, would you? Oh, okay. Is that really how it goes? Hmm. End of the dock, you say? End of the dock. Yay, my favorite time of day, lunchtime. Can I have a yakisoba to go today, please? Oh, well, shucks. All right, let's do a yakisoba. Thank goodness I have some money to be able to do this. Ooh, and let me get the curry. Fortunately, they'll pay me back, right? I have your yakisoba. Oh, that's great. Here, keep the change. You earned it, my friend. Whew. Don't tell anyone, but I'm going to duck out for a nap. Shh. Okay, bye. Let me, let me just rescue this cat that you were supposed to be guarding. Okay. Well, let's see. We'll have one more delivery to make. Oh, whoops. Worker Kate, get me one sushi to go from Fred's at the end of the dock. Okay, I'll be right back. Right back with your order. And I have your curry. Mmm, just as delicious as the last 1,326 days in a row I've had this. Here, keep the change. Don't tell the boss, but I need a curry nap. Oh, that's real. I had curry the other night for dinner. and It's like, it knocks you out. Warm, filling curry. Oh, so good. Okay, so you wanted sushi. What did you want? 
Phew, I was starving. Put me down for a curry to go today. All right, so we need one more curry and one sushi. Let's get one and let's get, whoops. And let's get one curry. And you wanted curry. Yum, yum, yum. Keep the change. Ah, oh, the spiciness takes a minute to kick in. I don't think I'm getting my money back, really. Am I? I don't know. I know I have to do this, so I might as well. But. Oh, no, I am getting more money back. Okay. Don't tell anyone, but I gotta leave my post for a minute. I gotta make a trip to the little agent's room. <laughs> okay, let me open up these cat boxes then. Boom. And a bada boom. Last cat saved. The agents have left the village dock. Yay! And it looks like I got a new outfit. Uh, you can learn, use this location for fishing. Cats have returned to the dock. Yo, Red! That was bonkers! Miyako, how'd you get here? I have my ways. When you're this cute, you can find ways to get things done. <laughs> okay. Well, what are you doing here? Oh, just checking out what you and Bobo are up to. <laughs> Come on, Red. I know you two are looking for Nico. Give it up, Red. That cat is mine. Smell you later. Jeez. Yeah, I'll delivery kid there. Evans to Betsy Chan, did you see them, their agents, just up and leave a minute ago? Them rascals have been here for months, scaring off my visitors. Here's hoping this brings fishing back to my docks here. Speaking of, you're free to fish on my dock anytime. In fact, you're welcome to fish at any body of water on this here island, as long as you see one of them fishing signs. Keep your eye out for new fishing signs popping up all over the island as areas become open to the public. Okay. If you can't wait for the night market to sell your fish, you're welcome to sell any catches to my help or tack the ta taco man over there. <laughs> Thar. Good option if you need a quick buck. Alright, try catching and selling and squeezing all kinds of fish. You never squeezing. <laughs> Why are we squeezing the fish? <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get. Wait, squeeze? Yeah. How else do you think we get various colors of dye around here? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense. Radio, I won't keep a fellow angler busy while there's good fishing to be done. Talk to my assistant, talk to the taco man, if you need a refresher on any of this fishing junk. Okay, well, let's see. Here's the fishing sign. Wait. Real. Fish. Okay. So, wait. <laughs> We're just gonna wait. Reel in. Aw, oh, fish, I was too slow. Oh, I was? Okay. Let's try again. Too slow. That's pretty cool. I caught. Oh, dang, that is a quick, quick reaction time. Okay. And it does use energy, so I have to be smart about it. Caught a crab. Gotta squeeze the crab for that orange dye, you know? Is that a cat meowing in the background? I'm ready. I'm ready. Wah! Caught an urchin. Ooh, heck yes. Let's do one more fishing. Or no, actually, let's just go all in. We're here. Might as well. I love how jazzy this soundtrack is, too. Bluefin tuna, nice. Like, this is a good, this is a good soundtrack. Red snapper, nice. I wonder if I squeeze them, if I could still sell the filet for later. <laughs> Does squeezing mean we can't use them for anything else? The meat's still gotta be good, right? Uh, a bottle, interesting. I wonder if I could use that my arts, arts and crafts. Bluefin tuna. All right, we're almost there. Maybe one or two more casts. Too tired to fish, okay. 
I hope you enjoy our little island. Stay out of my fishing hole. Okay. Ah, she approaches for the fishing challenge. First up, bring me two bluefin tunas. That should be easy for another angler like yourself. Got him. Great work, little angler. Here's your first reward of many, I hope. Yes, the planter box recipe. Okay, I think I may have just done things out of order because I bought the second most expensive uh, tool. I bought the ax first, and I think maybe if I had just bought the fishing rod first, I would have been able to do more home repair stuff. So I think I just messed up the order of operations there. Tuna, more like too easy. <laughs> Let's see what we have for round two. Two red snappers, I think I got them. Oh, I don't, I have one red snapper, okay. One gray hairball, one white hairball, perfect. All right, so I think we're ready to head on back. Return home, yeah. And um, now let's see if we can make a planter box. Hey, Minex, you made it. <gasps> Find any more clues out there? I still have one last place to check, but these are all the artifacts I found so far. Hmm, very interesting. Yeah, so yes, yup. Oh, that's right, yes, that's it. You have no clue what these are, do you? Not even a little bit. But sometimes you need to trick your brain into thinking it's a genius. <laughs> you know, Bobo, I appreciate that advice as well. There's confidence, you know, try it, fake it till you make it moment. Well... While I wait for the geniusing to start happening, I still have one other place I need to check out. Great! And I've thought of just the thing to throw Miyako off of our track. What is it? You'll see. You have no ideas for this either, do you? Peace outies! <laughs> I love Bobo. What's this? Something from the Fish Museum. <gasps> Ahoy, friends of the sea! The Fish Museum now awaits donations. Participate in the cataloging of all sea creatures right here in the village. Heck yes. Well, here. I don't have any fish recipes. I know I can sell them at the market, but why not do a little museum donating while I can? Let's see how many we'll need to, to bring visitors back in. It looks like that last one will be mining. Oh my god, how cute! <laughs> huh? Oh, hey, yeah. Welcome to the future home of the fishing museum. If you have any fish to donate, it'd really help us open this place to visitors someday. Uh, yes, I have lots of fish to donate. Got a bluefin tuna. <laughs> Gazing at us, wishing it had a slightly bigger container. All right, let me do, we have one of, oh. you know what? I can go fishing tomorrow. Let's donate these out. Ooh, that's a lot of, a lot of creatures. Okay, let's do our urchin. I think, ooh, do I keep the red snapper? Because I know that's the next quest. I think I will keep the snapper for now. 11 more donations. All right. Ooh, heck yes. Very, very cool. All right. What a successful day. So the next goal, the next big goal is earning 1,200, which... I feel like it's very close to possible for the next night market, honestly. What do I have now? I mean, I have three windows. Those are pretty quick and easy to go build. I wonder if I should just like... Maybe I should just sell them. They None of them sold at the night market. Let me... <laughs> Can I build anything? Let me do a little crafting and maybe we go sell some things. Get us closer to that 1,200 goal. Oh, heck yes! 156! Um, yeah, let's do it. 600, we're already halfway there, basically. Um, can I sell you this garbage that nobody else wants? Oh, zero dollars. Okay, yeah, take it. Um... Let me do this for 69, nice. And we have so many sakura flower. We don't want to sell all of them. 700. What's today? Sunday? 
yeah, let's sell all our things because we have many days to craft. We have many days. 800. Will you buy fish? You will. Ooh. I'll sell one. I want to try squeezing the other one. <laughs> uh, okay, let me try squeezing the other ones. This is pretty good. $800 already. I think, I think we can get to $1,200. I'm going to focus on windows instead of uh, bouquets for this first part of the day. First part of the week. Uh, let's go home and try squeezing some fish, shall we? <laughs> Dad, don't mind me. Oh my goodness. Okay. Squeeze. <laughs> you received one blue die and it, cons it consumes the fish. Oh, interesting. Squeezed bluefin tuna. Cool. A squeezed bluefin tuna. All right, so we can still... We can still... Use it. We just know it's squeezed. Crab looks a little crusty. All right, well, let's squeeze this red snapper. Can we build anything now? No! <gasps> we can build an origami Nico. Heck yes. Okay, we do need to go get lumber tomorrow, though. All right, move in the correct direction indicated to fold the paper. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. <gasps> that was so fast! Oh, balls! Wow, okay, that went faster than I thought it would. Yay, I made an origami Nico. Nice. And I got a cool outfit, I did. It just it stuck with me, which is nice. Oh, we're nearing the last day of the month all right i do like this outfit i'm gonna keep it because today we are going fishing bye dad <laughs> you know i'm gonna go to the lumber first because there was a lake there i wonder if i could do some fishing along with along with getting the lumber in the dark forest nice Today might be a day where I actually go and get some food, just so I can maximize, aw, oh, three, maximize my crafting, because we're now getting to the point, especially in the second area, now getting to the point where there's a lot of things that I can start building and that I want to start building. Okay, ooh, gold hairball, don't mind if I do. Now let me see. <laughs> the cat's just in the tree trunk. Let me see if I can go to that lake area and fish there. I thought there was a lake area. Yes, over here. Can I fish over here? Yes, I can. Ooh. Maybe I have to be right here. That's nice. That means each spot has usually at least two materials you can get from it, which is a nice balance. Caught a crab. Nice. Ooh, a lobster. That's cool. I wonder if I can only fish it. Okay, I don't know why it's not as uh, quickly letting me go back to fish again, like on the docks, but. Another urchin. Interesting, okay. Nice, a shrimp. A lot of crustacean over here. Another crab, good. I think I already donated a crab though, so I don't really need to...
Another bottle. Okay, this is our last fishing for here. Another crab. All right. Uh, let's take a moment. I don't know if we have the energy to do one more wood chop. We shall see. Yep. So let's pick up some hairballs just to finish this out. Uh, and then what I may do is just purchase a drink. See if we can... Or maybe not. Maybe we don't need to pick up a drink. Um... <laughs> Look at her go! Maneko's, Maneko's just running so fast. Uh, maybe we don't need a drink. Okay. So it's evening time. What was our plan? I forget. Also... Okay, do we have a limited inventory? I actually never even thought about inventory limitations, but it looks like we do have a limit. Um, we haven't gotten close to hitting it yet, but that's good to keep in mind. Um, can we squeeze the lobster? Nope. A lobster? I didn't even know stir. Oh my god. We can squeeze the urchin for brown dye. Interesting. Uh, can we squeeze the shrimp? Nope, but a shrimp reminds me of a kid I know. And the bottle is, what a ripoff, there's not even a message in it, but we can open it. You learned the family, oh, cool, they have recipes. Family portrait recipe for the art craft bench, which we do not have. Uh, let's open this and see. The sumo man poster for the art craft bench. So we'll have to unlock that later. Let me craft a few things. Remember, it is only Tuesday, so these craftable items that I make right now, I'm selling in the hopes of getting another tool for my toolkit. Planter box? Yes. Which I think, I think we have a quest for a planter box. Um, any cool paper things we can make? Ooh, Sakura fan, we do have a quest for that. So we're gonna make that. Now that I know what to do, this is much easier. <laughs> Made a Sakura fan. Okay, so we don't have enough flowers to do that, but we don't have enough for another fan. I don't know how to get fancy paper. We don't have enough lumber for, okay. All right, so at least we can deliver and complete a side quest. Hmm, I wonder how much the planter box is worth. No, someone requested it. I think it was Chica who did. But that that may be nicer to do. We have another we have another market we can earn money then. Okay, here we go. Uh, gift one Sakura fan. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to put it up in my store straight away. Oh, yay! Oh, cute. Oh, isn't just isn't that just perfect, dear Maneko? Let me see what I have for you. Ooh, the dog bouquet. Okay, that's cool. I know someone who'd very much like that. If you're up for another challenge, I've always meant to replace my old apron with a new flower apron. You'll need a sewing craft bench to make one, and we should have one in stock very soon. Okay, that's great, because I believe I'll be able to, um, I'll be able to make that for sure. I have that recipe. Okay, so I wonder if, if, um, there's money to be gotten by selling it to Tack? Talk? versus Bobo's mom, but I think this game has been pretty equitable. Like, I don't feel like we lose out on, on selling things to one person versus another, so I'm just gonna sell, sell, sell. Squeeze urchin for one dollar. <gasps> oh, interesting. Okay, I wonder if I can still redeem this for the quest. I won't sell that. Interesting, okay. Planter box? That was for a quest. 
Ooh, Origami Nico for 78. Heck yes. Okay. Let me check the... I feel like, was it a planter box or a flower box? I know Dad wants a flower box. I feel like Chica might have wanted a planter box. If not, sell, 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 baby. Um... But I'm really hoping maybe we can get another cute recipe. Yes, planter box. There we go. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. I'm going to put it up right away. Yay. It does seem to freeze a little bit when that construction animation happens. Wonderful. Here's a little something for you. Box flat. Now I can make what dad wants. There we go. It's always a pleasure when you drop by, Mineko. Are you here to help out some more? If so, I would love to increase the garden production around here. If you have a chance, I'd love to find five terracotta planters. Terracotta, okay, so I wonder if we're gonna have to go to the mines for that. Maybe mine some clay. So I have some money I, and I have a food item. I could use that to pick some flowers. Let me check the cost. Was it 1200 or 1400 or 1600? God, I'm forgetting. 12 Oh. Let's get the pickaxe, shall we? A great pick. The pickaxe should grant you access to the caves. Awesome. A lot of valuable rocks to find out there in the caves. If only the place weren't crawling with those agents. Good luck out there, little dude. Oh, I am ready to get rid of those agents. Can we go out there in the evening? Technically, it's it's not night yet, so we could go. But I don't have the energy, and I imagine we'll probably need some energy to take on whatever task. So, not gonna worry about it. Uh, we got the tool, which is pretty awesome. I was hoping we could progress and at least pick up all of the major items, uh, all of the tools, as well as the craft benches, and it looks like we did. So... Success! So now all we have to worry about is making money at the market so we can buy some of these items and increase the level to bring in more vendors. It's been a very productive spring. <laughs> we, we've been here for one month and we are totally changing the town. Game saved! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Alright, let me change my outfit. I haven't worn my usual hoodie in a minute. <laughs> so fancy. Love it. Okie dokie. So, we have a lot of recipes that require more lumber. Maybe I do that. Maybe I do that. I'm gonna pick some flowers. I feel like we probably should re up our flowers. Um. Maybe I'll do one heart's worth of flowers and then go to the mines. We have a lot of Sakura. I'm gonna focus in on just the plum, actually. That'll save, yeah, the plum. That'll save me time and energy. Because we have the, the lowest common denominator is definitely not the Sakura. Um. I will pick those up because those tend to be pretty valuable to sell. Camellia flower. So maybe we won't go exactly one whole heart down. It'll look like it would be just under a half heart left. Pickaxe. So we still won't have all of the tools though. I think we still have two tool slots. Um, that won't be fulfilled by the end of this season. Do, do, do. The caves. So I wonder what other, what are the last two tools? Like maybe a watering can is usually what we have. Um, and then a hammer. Those are the kind of the other two, but, um, so yeah, maybe there's a farm thing. I vaguely remember in a very early trailer, Mineko watering a plant and a cat popping out. So I wonder if we'll get to do that. Uh, that would be very, very cool. All right, so what are we going to have to do to get the cats liberated in the mines? Ooh, all right. Looks like got folks walking around. 
Whoa. Okay. Is this just more of a maze than anything else? Looks like it. <laughs> Alright. Cat number one. Liberated. Oh, I saw a cat over here. I probably should have maybe kept some sort of order in my mind, but... Nah. Why, why do that when you could just wander willy-nilly? Oh! Are you gonna turn this way? Or are you just gonna turn back? Come on, turn back. There you go. Okay. <laughs> we doing good. Granted, the, uh, the stealth in this game is very, very forgiving. Um, I am not known for my stealthiness. In fact, in every game, I'm like the, the um, Pirates of the Caribbean meme. Where it's like, me starting the stealth section with, um, I think it's uh, Jack Sparrow, like, looking sneakily over some boxes. Then by the end, just like, running haphazardly on the beach. That's me. Okay, one cat left. One more cat. Where would you be? Probably there was a path to the left near the entrance that I could have taken. And I bet you the cat is there. Okay, so I think this is the way to go. Yes. Aha! They must have been hiding something in here. They must have, but I don't know. Like, in all the other places, there was like a cabin or something big. I didn't really- I haven't caught anything that... ...is big. Alright, let's keep going. Perhaps... Perhaps I just missed something. Oh, maybe right here. I didn't go up this way. Aha, uh -huh, okay. What is this? Press and hold and release. Ah, it's horizontal now. You mind five delight. Okay. There's something inside that rock. Another artifact I see. Okay, but wood. But it seems to be the same kind of shape as the other other artifact, same general shape. <gasps> Here we go, cats are freed, the agents are gone, the place is liberated. <laughs> no terracotta though. You can now mine rocks and gems from this cave. Cats have returned to the area, beautiful. Huh, looks like Miyako didn't follow me out here. Whatever Bobo did to throw her off must have worked. Interesting. Okay, well, let me go back in. See, see what we can mine. Um, is it all delight, or are there other materials? I think I see a different one right here. This looks unique. Sparkly rock. Ooh, that sounds nice. Okay, let me delve a little bit further. See? Whoops. Okay, maybe it is all delight. Do light, delight. Eh. I'm no geologist. Three, oh, I'm not as good as the horror. Ooh, and you found an amethyst. Okay, so hidden inside these rocks are sometimes special gems and minerals. There we go. Figure again, I'm here, I might as well use my energy here while I can. This music is really nice too. It's not like bombastic, but I think it just is really good ambient sort of background music for what we're doing here. Okay, dokey. Yay, two amethyst. Alright. Feeling pretty good.
Uh, I won't be delving deeper, because I want to get back. I don't have any energy. Let's uh, grab a hairball. We don't need that flower. Any plum blossoms here? No plum blossoms. Ugh, shucks. Okay, I'm not gonna... Hmm. I already picked them all up in the village, so let's just get the hairball and head on out. Manex, you're back! So, find any more of them artifacts? Um, I think I found all I could find. Let's see here. What the heck is all this junk? Come on, dude, you're creative, kinda. We should be able to figure this out. Wait a minute. <laughs> there we go. It's Nico! I knew it! This is all Nico junk that he left behind. Are you saying these are all remnants of a real Nico? Yes, he's leaving behind a trail for us to find. I knew it all along. He is real. Maneko. Uh-oh. Oh, you're alive. You scared me. What's going on? Looks like nothing after all. There were rumors around that a girl went missing. <gasps> no. Oh no, oh no. But it looks like that was... It's Miyako. No, Miyako. And that's her granny's granddaughter. What's all the commotion out here? It's my granddaughter, Miyako. She went out into the woods and never returned. She decided to go look for that, that, that stupid Nico as well. Hey, Nico's not stupid. You are. Bobo, we do not talk like that. Ever since this girl moved in, I swear, you've been a bad omen from the start. Me? Yeah, you. You and this bullcut kid. Always on about Nico this and Nico that. Of course, another child was going to get hurt looking for that non-existent cat. Hey, now don't blame this on Maneko. That's uncalled for. I'm blaming you, mister. Me? Who asked you to move here? Nobody, that's who. None of this was happening before you two showed up. Hey, hey, we could bicker later, but right now there's another little girl in trouble. Well, I'm going to look for my Miyako. Let us help. Don't. If you really want to help, you can just leave. Hold it. Uh-oh. Nobody's going to go out looking for anybody right now. We're officially in charge of the investigation from here on out. I'm glad somebody is. Who the heck died put, put you in charge? Bobo. It's quite all right, Miss Bobo's mom. I understand we're all very tense right now. And under this heightened tension, it's only a matter of time before we have another accident. So we kindly suggest everyone return to their homes for the night. We have this under control. Suspicious. We're gonna find your granddaughter, lady. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, then, I should take Bobo home now. I'm sure Miyako's fine. She's probably milking this for all it's worth. We can't assume that. For now, it might be best for everyone to put a hold on this whole... Nico thing, too. Just until we figure out what's going on. Are you kidding me? Ugh, just because one kid goes, Bobo. That'll be enough for now. Hopefully the morning will shed new light on what's going on. Now that I think about it, I wasn't so sure about this whole Nico thing from the start. Oh, hush. Oh, the community is getting a little bit fractured here. So not everyone does believe in this legend. A flyer from the Gem Museum. The Gem Museum's like, by the way, calling all adventurers, the Gem Museum is now looking for donations. Well, hey, we have two amethysts, so let's go do that. Um, let me see. Wait, wait a second. You're right here, Miyako. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, again, I think that may just be a pre-release moment. <laughs> um, little bug. Cute. Ahoy, explorer. Welcome to the future site of the Gem Museum. If you find any gems out there in your adventures, bring them here. All right. Well, I have one dilute delight du rock. Nice. And then I have one amethyst. That's pretty good. Seven more donations. Okay. I think we're making pretty good progress there. 
six more donations to go. Oh, I love the little, I forget what is it called, archaeologist in training, geologist in training. So let's head on home. We don't have any energy, don't have any money. Oh, excuse me. So might as well just go back. Dad's not home either. Interesting. Nothing new on TV. We only get two channels in the island. Um, let's see. We can't do planter box. Ooh, we finally can make the card game. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, let's do that. So this is another one of the folding mini games. Okay. Nice. I made a card game. Perfect. Box flowers. Yes! Oh, finally, we can craft box flowers for Dad. Ooh! There's two. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice the one out of two, two out of two. That's cool. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have to spend some time just, like, going out and getting stuff. Yeah, I think we're get we're getting to the point in the game where even though I maybe don't have to, I think buying food is going to feel really good so that we can really maximize the supplies that we get on our runs. <gasps> Crash! The end of spring is eventful. What's going on? Dad? You okay? Oh my gosh. Hello? Greetings! What? Yes, it is I, the market host. What? I thought my appearance, my elicit, appearance might elicit more of a reaction, but I don't need it. Did you hear that the agents are beginning to leave the island? I don't know what's causing them to flee, but as a night market proprietor, that's got to be great for business, eh? Whatever is going on, I'm all for it. I've never seen the people of this island in such great spirits like this before. And you know how that old catchy slogan that's been passed down from generation to generation goes. A person in a good mood is more likely to spend money, thus vindicating the night market as viable business, and in turn contributing to the long-term economic stability of Mount Fugu Island. Market host. Yes, the classic quote. <laughs> that's, that's very catchy. Anyway, with things opening up again, it's not long before we start seeing more visitors to the island. So... I was just going around town to share the news that we have now a new lots. We now have new lots available for potential folks to move into. And you know what more people means? More money. There are plenty of people out there who are looking for a new direction in life. We could be that plan B for people. <laughs> Go forth and spread the good word about our town, little one. Anywho, I should keep moving on. These door-to-door -door messages aren't going to door-to-door message themselves. Okay, we can invite certain visitors to move into the village. That's cool. But it doesn't answer the crap. <gasps> Look behind here. There was a go. Oh! Wait a second. You saved me and huh? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's Nico. That didn't sound good. Sounds like you might be, be breaking stuff. Maybe you have to- no. No! Um, hello? It's, you broke the fence. Are you back here? Hello? Oh. Where am I getting my climbing skills? My goodness. My grip strength. Very good. Oh! <gasps> So lovely. Watching shooting stars on a rainy day with a giant cat. We just had our first Nico sighting. Wow, what an eventful last week of spring. Okay, week four, year one, Wednesday. So we are now in market mode. Just FYI. It did. Did that just really happen? Oh, Nico? Hey, Pumpkinhead. Wait, what? Look at that. You're awake. 
Thought I heard someone making noise over here. Y yeah, it, um, I, uh... Hey, were you ever able to jigger the back door open? Well, hey, that's only going to increase the resale value of this place. A are we moving back home? You know we can't, kiddo. Well, not anytime soon, anyway. <laughs> In fact, I don't think anybody's going anywhere for the time being. Seems like those agents have occupied our village. They really seem to be on high alert. Surely they're out searching for that poor little girl, Miyako. <laughs> not to worry. They're just investigating something that you and I have nothing to do with. I'm sure that girl will be fine. Oh, God. What did Bobo say? What did Bobo do? Okay, I love that we can now exit the home without... <gasps> oh! <gasps> what? What? <gasps> Nico? It's really you! What are you looking for? Oh god, don't be scared, I'm sorry! Nico! But we do have a watering can now! Must have been left here by the previous owner. Hang tight there, Nico. We'll get you home. Is that what Nico is looking for? Home? That little statue? That's Mount Fugu. Is that where you're trying to get to? Mount Fugu? Oh, that's your home, isn't it? You must be so scared. And sad. And angry. We're gonna get you back home, Nico. Hmm. My dad said the village is surrounded by agents right now, so it might be tricky to get you out the front. Manex! <gasps> Quick, Nico, go hide out in the shed. I I'll come right back for you, okay? There you are. I've been yelling your name outside for ages. Did you hear about the agents occupying our village? They're saying. This is your room, huh? Neat. Anyway, the agents say they're here to investigate Mayako's disappearance, but I know that's just a cover. They've wanted a reason to occupy our village for a while now, and they're using this as their opportunity. Well, how do we stop them? I don't know. We need to figure out their motivation. <laughs> we know they're capturing cats around the island, but for what? Because they're jerks? Well, yeah, but I mean, Nico must somehow be connected to all the cats on the island, and the agents are capturing them all as a way to lurk Nico into their trap. Now, this is gonna sound nuts, but I think the agents believe they've cornered Nico and think he might be hiding out in the village. <laughs> I'm just a little sweaty, don't mind me. It's just the spring heat, right? Of course, if Nico is here, you and I would be the first to know about it. Uh, what are they gonna do to Nico if they find him? That I don't know. Anyway, the agents are randomly searching homes, too. I don't know what they're hoping to find, but I'm doing what I can to throw them off. In fact, when they were in my house earlier, I used a bunch of my old plush Nikos as decoys to throw them off. <laughs> I'm not sure if it helped anything, but it sure did waste their time. Anyway, do whatever you can to waste their resources and disrupt their oper operations, too, dude. Aye, aye. Happy to do so. Very good thing to keep in mind. I'm even going to dress up as Nico for this celebration, because why the heck not? They want to come and make a fuss? I'm going to get fancy. Alright, so we have got some things to sell. We have a planter box to give Dad. Um, editing out already? Yeah. Don't you want to stay and watch the game with your old man? Igru is up to bat. Can't miss an Igru at bat. Sounds exhilarating, Tad, but I gotta run. No problem, kiddo. Just keep out of trouble keep out of trouble out there. Those agents seem agitated. Oh, when I was out in the morning I saw Bobo's mom restocking her shop with a new sewing craft bench. I was gonna help her carry it into her store, but you know what? I think she's even stronger than me. You should go check it out if it's something you're looking to do. Oh, and tell her I say hi too. Will do. Hmm. A sewing craft bench might allow me to make some decoys to throw the agents off. What was that? Uh, uh, I was just uh, asking myself if I made the bed this morning. Oh, I thought you said a sewing crab bench might allow me to make some decoys to throw the agents off. Those ears just ain't what they used to be, I tell you, kiddo. <laughs> uh, I guess not. Anyway, stay safe out there. Oh, Dad. Here we go. We got a flower box. Love if you could take your flower craft bench. And yes, okay. 
Oh, you made these. You're a natural. Let's see how they look on our house. Oh no. Okay, good. I was like, oh no. <gasps> Cute little flowers. I love it. Now this is starting to look like a house fit for a couple of weirdos like us. Oh, and here's something for your help, kid. Nice, a ceramic bowl. Okay, it's a flyer from Bobo's mom from the craft store. Greetings, crafters. The sewing craft bench is now available for sale at the craft store. The mailbox is empty. All right, so, oh, it looks like the agents are over there hassling some children. Great. Just as... <laughs> justice authorities want to do or harass people who don't do anything okay hang tight there Nico all right so we don't have to do anything with Nico so let's go back out see if we can we'll focus on flowers today see if we can craft some bouquets as well as hassle some of these agents as much as we can on our way to get the sewing machine Hey, buzz off, kid. We're busy looking for something. Don't you mean someone? Buzz off! <laughs> okay, so we can still walk around freely, fortunately. Beat it, kid. Alright, meanies. Uh, you still just want gum. Again, I'm gonna try and focus in on just the plums. Plum flower. If I can... Jeez Louise, they're everywhere. Probably stepping on all the plum flowers, that's why I don't see any. There we go. One plum flower. May have to hit up the gardens today. I think. Do, 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 do. Alright, Bobo's mom. All right, you want the flower apron, sewing craft bench, 1600 oh my god. That's so expensive. Oh, the agents, they're not gonna, oh, jeez Louise. Okay, it's gonna take me a minute to get them out of here if, I need 1600. Probably could make that, most of that in the next market. I gotta be wise though, wise in what I, what I craft, okay. So let's, we'll go to the gardens first, and then we'll go to the dark forest. Hmm. I don't know, actually, the fishing might be more fruitful. There's the red snapper, the tuna, that seemed to come, come around for a pretty good price. Although the lobster, if I can get another lobster, that was also quite good. Hmm. So again, focusing on the plum flowers, we still don't have any... Oh, hello! New person. Mention new lots available. All right. Uh, hello? Ah, uh, sorry. No worries. Well, actually major worries. I didn't... Uh, I'm sorry. Well, that's not even your fault. I thought visiting, visiting Mount Fugu Island, which I heard so much about, would help me find some semblance of peace, which is critical for getting my thinking done. <laughs> Fish smack. Excuse me? Fox lick. <laughs> Lobster sniff. Okay, I don't know what you're doing. I designed those games. I've never heard of them. Nobody has, but that's not the point. The point is I made those. I used to love coming up with new ideas. But I don't know, lately I haven't been able to come up with anything. And at first I assumed it was just a case of the everythings, but lately I feel there's a certain imbalance in my life and I cannot figure out what. I read about this place and it all sounded great, but as soon as I got here, I'm harassed by these aged people who are clomping all up in the Zen garden. You know what a Zen garden without Zen is? A guard, rocks and dirt. <laughs> I love him. Sorry to, hey, stop apologizing for existing. Listen, I didn't mean to chew your head off. I just need to find some peace. Um, okay. Can I can I give you classical music? Whoops, sorry. Classical? Is that peaceful for you? 
There's got to be some peace somewhere around here. All right, so I got to find you some peace, huh? I'll do my best. But first, I got to find some plum flowers. <laughs> I'm here with an agenda too, Em. All right, so I just opened up my quest just to see, and it says find the sewing craft bench, which I know. Um, find the malcontented visitor at the dock. Find a way to bring peace to the gardens and find the perturbed visitor at the caves. So, all right, we'll have to go. I wonder, let's go to the dock then. I could get some lumber to finish some of those quests, but I think fishing will have, we'll have fish sell at the market and I imagine it'll do pretty well. So uh, we already have two card games. I think I have enough to make maybe a bouquet or two. Um, so yeah, let's do the docks. I think that may be more worthwhile. Oh, <laughs> hello. Mention new lots. Uh, I guess a fellow standing at a bus stop with a cage, cage filled with all their worldly belongings somehow looks like a person who is search of a new direction in life to you. I'm sorry to... Because that is absolutely correct. Why does such a seemingly well put together fellow need a change in life, you ask? I didn't. Uh, well, if you must know, I just lost my job today. But that's all I'm saying about that. Good luck with uh, 12 years at my job at the docks on the mainland and they throw me out like that. Now I find out nobody is hiring here either. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, gee, how could such an obviously charming and affable young fellow like this have a hard time finding employment? And you would have a good point. But the thing is, the thing... You know what? As surprising as it may seem, you might actually be right. Uh, exactly. I am better than this. I do deserve more. And you're right. I owe it to myself to pursue my dreams. Okay, good luck. Fine. I'll serve one part of my dreams, but that's all. You really don't... Shh. <laughs> Tentacles. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? Tentacles. Or as I call it, the Octopole. <laughs> Octopole? <laughs> it's an idea for a game I had since I was about your age. And I've always dreamt of bringing it to the weekly night market here. So why haven't I done it already, you wonder? Fair question. In all honesty, I wouldn't have any idea how to get the word out about my game. Uh, I guess you could just tell random strangers at the bus stop against their free will. Nah, not my style. <sighs> But I do know someone who can print me up a bunch of flyers. I just need to find some paper. You know, I'm thinking you... I know, I know. It's up to me to find that paper for you, isn't it? I think you might be right again. Yes, it should definitely be up to you. I humbly accept your offer. In about ten? No, wait. I should get a few more in case I mess up. Twenty. I will eagerly await the delivery of paper. Twenty. So we can get those flyers printed. And be quick. This is my livelihood we're talking about. <laughs> Maneko looks a little bit shell-shocked. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh good, we have some plum flowers here, which is very nice. Okay, so let's do a little bit of fishing. We've got meat there, which we haven't purchased before. Ooh, jellyfish. Ooh, that's exciting. I wonder if I could get like pink dye out of that. Shrimp. Good, good, good. I wonder also if the jellyfish, shrimp, and lobster show up more in the evening uh, and we don't get red snapper until... and tuna until the daytime. I wonder if that's maybe what's happening. Catfish! Ooh, that's a new one! <laughs> How fitting for a game with cats in it to have catfish. Whatever this instrument- okay, red snapper, we got it. Which, I haven't forgotten Daisuke's quest. Uh, I hope a squeezed red snapper qualifies. <laughs> it's technically still a red snapper. Another catfish, good, that means we can donate one. And I think this will be our last cast of the day.
urchin. Heck yes. Alright, so let's pick up that hairball. Looks like we can get another one. Yay! And that, as they say, is that. Oh, heading back. Looks like... <laughs> Again, we've... Well... Do I have enough paper? Oh, nope. No pressure, but my entire existence <laughs> depends on this. Oh, God. Alright, so now it is evening. It is, I think, time for everything to be closed. Yep, everything is closed. So the agents are still standing around being useless, as they tend to do. As they are wont to do. Now, how much was a worm burger? I almost wiped out on our steps outside again. We could sure use about ten woods to repair them. Okay. We'll have to focus on wood next time. Awesome. I have enough flowers to... Now, here's an idea. What if I waited until right before the fair to craft? Because then I could use all the flowers for the bouquets, all the flowers for... You know, all the fish for everything. Maybe I do that Wednesday. Yeah, that'll that'll do. I'll save it all the craft time for Friday. No, sorry, Saturday. I'll save all the craft time for Saturday. So yeah, the bench, the crafting sewing bench. What did I say? That was like sixteen hundred. It's expensive. Okay, game saved. It's another rainy spring day. Got the spring parade coming up, which is exciting. Uh, let's go. Let's see. Where do we go? We went to the docks yesterday, and we went to... Where do we go? Oh my god, my memory. The gardens, I think. We went and got plum flowers. So let's now go to... Dark Forest. We can at least get the ten wood. Probably do a little fishing. Today we'll go to the woods and to the mine. Uh, which is good because we need to go to the mine to get our other quest, the disgruntled visitor in the mine as well. Alright, I do like chopping the wood and doing like both the paper wood as well as the lumber wood more than the mine. I don't know why going vertically makes my brain happier, but it does. It's kind of odd. Something I didn't know about myself before playing this game. Good, we've got 15 lumber, so we've got enough for the quest. I want to get a few more so we can maybe craft one or two planter boxes or something nice for the market. Oh shoot, I'm already out of energy. Shucks. I'll save it. We'll go to the mines. <laughs> oh, jeez. I totally forgot. I was like, I should have saved one heart for this and then one heart for the mines. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, what is happening here? We found what looks like a machine part. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, he hello. <sighs> oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe you've accidentally picked up a machine part of mine. Oh, sorry, you can have it back. No apology necessary. It was my fault for leaving it unattended. Of course you would pick it up. I would have. I would be disappointed if you didn't. Listen, why don't you hang on to it? Uh, what is it? Oh, I'm glad you're interested in my work. You see this machine here? It's my glorious new invention I was set to unveil to the public. What does it do? Thank you for asking. This is my Degarbagifier. Degarb- what? Oh, it's my latest invention, the Degarbagifier. Or, or, oh, Degarbagifier 2000, to be accurate. Degarb Degarbagifier. It's going to revolutionize the way we think about our trash. Forget everything you think you knew about municipal waste management solutions. Sure thing. I knew nothing about it. We all know to set our garbage out on pickup day, but what do we... But do we really know where our trash goes? We see the tragic ways in which our trash ends up in polluting oceans and disturbing ecosystems on a near daily basis. And we assume that it'll be a problem that someone else will fix. Yes, Sugihara 
Breach, tell us. <laughs> But, in our best case scenario, we hope our garbage gets deposited in a landfill, where it'll be someone else's problem. Well, you know something? I woke up one morning and I said to myself, I want to be that someone else. This is where my machine was going to come in. My machine that would de-garbage unwanted items. Thus, the de garbage fire. 2000. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, those strange people in suits tore my machine apart looking for something. Of course, they didn't find whatever they were looking for, but they did manage to tear my machine down into an unusable state. My goodness, this is why, again, they're not like cops, cops, but basically they're the cops of the game. And we say here, ACAB, because look, all they're doing is destroying people's properties, causing everyone in the town to be uncomfortable, like, ugh, de garbageify them. Mm. And that's why I told you to hang on to that machine part. That's the part I just found deep within the cave here. I've already searched thoroughly around here, but if you happen to see any more of those machine parts in other locations during your adventures, please collect it for me. Looks like I just need four more of these to get his mach this machine back up and running again. Meanwhile, I'll be restoring the rest of this machine. Stay safe out there. We'll be up and degarbaging in no time. <laughs> All right, so we have five machine parts that we need to bring back to Sugihara. Now, I don't think I have the energy to go super deep into the cave, but perhaps we'll stumble upon a machine part or two. Um, I don't know if they'll be out in the open or if they'll require me to uh, mine for them. Things will lead to a dead end. Yep, this is a dead end. Boop, boop. Five sparkly rock. Nice, nice, nice. Five. Do I? Okay, I don't think I have energy for another one, unfortunately. Yep. Darn. Ah. Uh, okay. I need to start. Once the next market rolls around, I'm gonna start saving a little money in between to buy food, so I can craft a bit more <laughs> on these days. Um, do a little bit more scavenging, cause my goodness. There's a lot, there's a lot happening now, which is really cool. I was a little apprehensive, because again, it, and the game did exactly what I thought it would. Right when I was thinking, okay, this is starting to get a little repetitive, but I think they're gonna switch it up, uh, they did. And they moved the story along, they opened up visitors coming in, uh, we now have all of these different night market specific things we're looking for um for our side quest for the rest of the village so i think i think we're in a very good place with this game so far i'm continuing to be very happy with this playthrough all right we got the 10 wood <laughs> i feel like and i don't know again if it's my computer or if it's just because again this is a this is a review build which means it's maybe in the process, the game will be in the process of being optimized still, and little patches are going to be coming through. Um, I've noticed certain scenes do take pretty long to load in, or like this, they kind of freeze and like are a little bit choppy. Um, it may be my computer. There is, a, there is definitely a chance that it's my computer, but just something to note if you're sensitive that, to that kind of stuff. Perfection! Why, if a more beautiful set of steps exist in the world, I haven't seen it. Oh, here's something for your help, kid. Sakura journal. I would love to custom make a journal. I love journals. I'm very specific about the ones that I use to be able to make one. Oh, would be so cool. All right, can you grab 10 delight rocks? Ooh, I think we have them. <laughs> well, your burden is my burden now. Let's see how this looks. Heck yes. Could I be using the rocks for crafting? Sure, but I love upgrading our house. I think that's really fun. <laughs> nice! Oh, that looks really pretty. The house looks absolutely perfect, don't you think? I agree. I think it looks so nice. Look at the little, like, hanging, um... I don't know what they're called, sort of, they're not full curtains, but the little hanging fabric and the little cat charm that we have. Little cat ghosty. I know we moved here abruptly and it wasn't your choice, but I think it's real neat to see you running around with new friends exploring this place. Crafting crafts, eating eats, catting cats, all the things you've always loved doing. I'm proud of you, Wormbug. Mineko. I'm real proud of you, Mineko. Oh. 
Jeez, look at me blabbering on when you're probably awaiting your reward. <laughs> Ooh, tent and shop sign and Zen garden. Ooh, maybe we make the little Zen garden for that one unhappy game designer. Okay. So I believe we do have some things we could craft. Uh, we need some dye for the shop sign. We could make planter box. Uh, we need paper, so tomorrow we're gonna go to the beach birch forest. Um, box flowers. <gasps> oh, for a second I thought we had the these flowers, and I was like, what? Um, let's do the kokedama. And... Maybe, maybe I do the box flowers. I've never sold that, and it'd be kind of interesting to try that at a market. See if that earns us a bigger chunk of money. Especially because it's perfect. Ooh. Ooh, shall we do two? Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Nice. Oh, three? <laughs> I really believe we'll be able to break a thousand this market. I, th I think we can. I believe. Okay, so we can't build any more of these. Ooh, the little Zen garden requires a lot of stuff that we have not seen before. Uh, paper. We'll be able to craft more paper things starting tomorrow. Wood. We can do a planter box. Um, it didn't seem like the windows sold, so I think flour and paper we're going to stick with for the market. Okay. Whoops. Let's go with... Let's go with our fishing outfit, just because. Just because it's fun to add to the rotation. Rockin' style. Alright, time to sleep. Wonder if I should check on Nico back there. Alright. It's almost time to be finishing out our first month in the game. Oh, I cannot wait. We're going to focus today on the birch trees, getting all the paper we can to do some of these origami crafts for the market. Mm. And uh, I think if we're going to pick flowers, we're going to focus on plum. Birch Forest. Now, Birch Forest, I don't think had too many flowers. I think they had some, though, but mostly it was the paper and the hairballs. <laughs> Which I think once we end up getting sewing, that's when we'll be able to actually use the hairballs. Maybe I get to spin them into yarn of some sort. <laughs> I wonder if there's a felt crafting bench. Because I know one of the developers really enjoys felt working, um, felt craft, needle felting, so that'd be kind of cool to enjoy too. Okay, again, I don't want to go down further than one heart here. Nice, I'll do one more. This will ease us into the second heart, but that's okay. go five paper looks like I think we got what 20 paper from this all right so now we're gonna head right back out to what did I say what do we need hmm birch forest the caves would be cool let's do the dock I think fishing will be really nice we'll probably get a lot of good money from fish at the market and we can give the paper to all the paper. Dang. I won't give the paper yet to the visitor. We'll focus on the visitors in the summer. Um, but I, I would like to see how much I can really maximize this iteration of the market. See if we can get up to level four. And see if I can get enough to get that sewing craft going. What is that? Is that a, um, not a harpist cord? Oh! 
There's another machine part. Okay, the machine parts aren't just in the mine. That's good to know. Accordion? Is that what this is called? A wind-up fish toy! Oh, cute. I wonder if we can sell that. Whatever this instrument, it's really nice. Urchin. Or what is it? Is the the rotator? It's like. Oh my gosh, I forget. A lot of toys. Someone's dropping toys into the ocean. Yeah, if anyone watching knows what this instrument is, please tell me. I feel like I can visualize it. There's like two instruments I can imagine it being. One is an accordion. The other is the one with the box and like the crank. But I don't know what that's called. Or at least I can't remember. Ooh, a bottle. That's nice. That means we got a recipe. And a red snapper. Heck yes. Alright, last reel of the day, last cast of the day. And another red snapper. Perfect. We can find Daisuke. He'll get us uh, that quest complete. I'm not gonna give paper. Nope, not right now. <laughs> We'll get your flyer sorted in the summer, my friend. But this is good to know. So machine parts are going to be found all over the island, not just in the caves. Now this means I may have to do a little bit of investigating around home. Oh, cool. We can see the plots. Okay. I'm too tired to even pick a flower. Oh, cannot lift a finger. Okay. Well... Looking for that distinct shimmer of gold. See if we can see any machine parts over here. Okay. Maybe maybe they're not in the village, but just in like each of the foraging habitats. How close are we to level four? Oh, that's, that's a little bit of a ways. Our total sales, best night market has been 741. Oh, we could definitely do better than that. We could definitely beat that. All right, let's change our clothes. I think I want to go classic Maneko uh, for for this this upcoming market. Um, do we have? Okay, so I'm not gonna focus on the window. Card game, and I think Sakura fan will be good because we haven't we haven't done those before. The Origami Nico actually would be really cute too. Let's let's squeeze a couple fish really fast. Okay, we've already got one squeezed snapper. Let's do one more. <laughs> I just remembered I said I was gonna do all my crafting on the day of oh well. It's fun. It's nice to mix it up and, and spend some time working on that. Why do I keep doing the flowers? Okay, it looks like we are all out of ingredients for all the things. Oh, right. Let me go find Daisuke. Okay, there's no music, so I have a feeling everyone... I think all the villages are actually gone. Yeah, we'll find him tomorrow. Who bed? <laughs> Time for sleep. The agents will show up at the market. That's gonna be... That would be a big deal. A huge no-no. If they did that... Ooh, I bet the community would be pissed. Saturday, don't forget. And we have the spring parade, too! Oh, today's gonna be a good day. We still haven't found Miyako, though. Um, that's kind of a big deal. It's not good. Oh, shoot. I should have asked Dad. I need reminding of what Dad wanted. I think that's the one thing I would have loved if we just, if we're being, like, a little bit more nitpicky, um... 
some UI showing off the side quests for each of the villagers would have been nice, just because there's so many. I feel like that would have that that would help me keep track, but um, at the same time, Pug Paper Doll, Snappy the Snail, Beef Ramen. Okay. Yeah, at the same time, I feel like I'm I'm doing okay remembering. It's just it would be nice to have a little bit of a record. Oh darn, I thought I saw a flower over here. Oh, can I just sit? Aw, that's cute. I love that detail. I love when games allow you to just sit. Sometimes uh, in games, I found myself just sitting and just leaving on the soundtrack for fun. <laughs> here we go. Tuna, two red snappers, here we go. Now we're gonna see if we've gifted him the squeezed ones or not. Okay, garden fountain, that's cool. Two crabs, we have that. I can't forget your reward, the Nico Temple Flowers recipe. Ooh, that's nice. One conger eel. Ooh, we have not found the eel. So that's gonna be a rare one. He only wants one too, so that's how you know it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. Um, where to go on our initial foray? Just for niceties, Ugh, although the birch forest having paper might be kind of nice for the side quests. Let's do birch forest. I'm going to look a little bit more closely because I think maybe, wait, did we already? Birch forest is where we found the inventor, right? Or the mines. There might be a gear here is what I'm thinking. So that's why I want to take a look, get some paper and maybe actually take a further, more quality look at the space. We'll go around to the right because I don't think that's what I did last time. I don't see, oh, there we go. See, there's a gold chopped five paper and there's a gold gear. Love it. Machine part, that is what, three of five? So we found one in the mine, one in the docks. I bet you there will be one in the dark forest and one in the garden. Okay, so because it's night market day, I won't be able to go back anywhere else. So I really should just max out all my energy getting paper, going around, because just in case there's a flower, but I don't think there will be. I think it's just paper and hairballs here. <laughs> you know how it is. Sometimes you go somewhere, it's just paper and hairballs. Honestly, my office, sometimes it feels like. My cats don't really cough up hairballs, though. I don't know if it's because, like, I just did such a good job picking their diet or or what, but I feel like I heard so much about hairballs that before I was a cat owner, I was like, ooh, better get ready for all those, all the hairballs. I don't think there really is a ton, but maybe it's certain cats are predispositioned for it. Dispositioned? I, one of my cats scrambles. The big orange guy. He, he's got other issues, so I'm not complaining. Um... I, I have, we have other things we deal with for him, but. Okay, let's see what last little bits of crafting we can complete before we go. Dad, what did you want? Here comes trouble with a capital T. Oh, that's it? Oh, okay. All right, so we can make a cat bouquet. I love that. Classic, bringing it back for the diehard fans uh, who've been with me since the beginning. And that is it. Oh, nope, we can make a card game. Let's do that. I think, honestly, we'll be pretty well well off for the event. Let me do one last check. But yeah, we have four card games. Um, one bouquet. Two bouquet, three bouquet. Yeah, we have a good variety. We have a wind-up toy, which I'm gonna try to sell. It seems like it'd be cute. Kids may like it. Um, so yeah, I, th I think we're pretty well off for tonight. Our last 
record was 721. I really would love to see if we could break a thousand today. I think the addition of the planter boxes, maybe, or box flower, whatever it's called. I think, I think we could do it. I believe. Look at how much we've evolved already. We already take up a whole row of the train tracks. Welcome, welcome to the fourth night market of spring. This week's night market theme is the Spring Cat Parade. It's like a parade, but with cats. Righto, righto. I am pumped as fudge. I am also pumped to levels determined to be fudge-like. <laughs> Now go, shop, eat, play, enjoy. Anyone who is interested in participating in tonight's cat parade should come see me here at the main stage. Oh, I should have worn my outfit. Looks like we could use one more member to march in the cat parade tonight. If you're interested, you know where to find me. At the night market stage, of course. All right, here we go. It looks like I'm next to the granny today. Oh, because Miyako's still missing. Dang, I feel very bad about that. Okay, so let's display three of these. Let's do one Kokodama. Oh, did I not do it? Let's do one. Let's display this adorable origami. Let's display two of the fans. We're doing so good. Uh, one perfect cat bouquet. Uh, four card games. And that'll be it. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's call our customers over. Welcome, welcome. One box flower. Let's try a 238. 187. I don't know. Could you do 235? You reeled me in. Yes! Because we have like four hearts with him. I wouldn't have otherwise. Welcome, welcome. 201. Nice. Okay, box flowers is pretty good for business for sure. 179. Oh, back again. One more card. You really like this card game. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Lily. One more box flower. How about 188? You know what? Sure. 188 is fine. I can swing that. We just need to make one more sale and we've hit my goal for today. Awesome. 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 Come one, come all for business. Oh, finally, we have a card game ready to interest you. 179. 144. I'm going to see if you can do 170. Yes. Um, let's add... Can we add this wind-up toy? Let's see if anyone wants to pick it up. Welcome, welcome. One cat bouquet. 75? You know what? You're Bobo's mom. Uh, I, uh, you are Bobo's mom, so let's do 75. Is that the last one? Yep. All right. Hey, we made 1300 today. Definitely. <gasps> we were so close to leveling up. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. We're so close. Okay. Sakura flower. Black hairball. All right. So maybe is this Kitan candy? Cute. Oh wait, Aguru gum. We do want that gum. Okay, um, we've got plushies here. See, and I thought I bought food here because I thought this was going to be the food that we could display, but I guess not. I'll buy one Taiyaki just in case. Um, and we're going to call it that, I think. Um, and I'll buy one blind box just because I want to try and see if I can get the snail because that is a big deal. So I wonder if I can't donate the Taiyaki to the museum, I'm just going to use those and eat them and maybe call it. Say that's probably, <laughs> it's probably a, a vendor that we haven't gotten yet. All right. 
So good luck. Now I wonder what I have to do for this parade. Oh my god, how cute! <laughs> play an instrument it's the moment we've all been waiting for you've all made it to the main event of the night the rest of the night market all filler designed to waste your time until we can start the main event <laughs> that's a tint applause i feel so fortunate to be accompanied by these incredible amazing kids for tonight's parade don't embarrass me adorks so without further ado who is pumped for this parade i could not be more pumped i am also of the pump persuasion <laughs> let's do this Get ready, kiddos. Just follow my lead. Don't fall out of line. Oh, God. Onward, ho! Oh, geez. Okay, stay in line and watch for proms. Left, face left. This is Final Fantasy VII March already. Oh, God. Left, right, play. Okay. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so nervous. Stop! Left! Oh god. <laughs> Play! <laughs> left! I am facing left! Oh jeez. Oh jeez! Oh! Oh god. Parades are hard. Parades are really hard. Okay, please don't stop me here because I don't know my lefts and rights when we're facing down. Oh my god, this is so cute. Play. <laughs> Play, okay, here we go. He's like, dance, monkeys, dance. Definitely the hardest mini game of all. <laughs> left. We're already facing left, man. We haven't had to face a right ever. I love the cat using its tail to bang the drum too. That's really cute. Okay, we're all, we're we're getting into the homes. Oh my god, it's my dad! Got to I got to do good. My dad's watching me. Oh, it's a little bit tougher to see where I am in the box compared to <laughs> to the line. Okay, we may have one more bout of stop left right play, or we might be done. <gasps> yep, I knew it. One more round. Left. Ah. <laughs> You've never said right. There we go. Right. Aha. Stop. We are stopped. Oof. <sighs> My debut in the spring parade. I feel like we did okay. Well, well, now what did you think of that parade? Yay! The crowd has spoken. The parade was a massive hit. Great job, kids. I knew I could count on... <laughs> what the heck? Was a cat a part of this parade the entire time? <laughs> Anywho, another successful night market in the books. Don't for come back, forget to come back next week for more surprises. Huh? Go! Leave! We're done here! The trophy will be delivered to your home. Wahoo! <laughs> oh, I got an achievement. I can't see what it is because the, the loading screen is up and I think it's overlaid on top of the achievement itself. But probably something about completing all the spring trophies, I would imagine. Do, 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 do. I wonder if we've upgraded our entire house. That'd be kind of cool if so. Time to sleep? Yeah. Now here's the interesting part. This was the last day of spring. 
So I'm really curious to see what's going to happen in the new season. Um, how will perhaps new flowers or new items be a thing? Yep, summer year one. Uh, how How is the story going to progress? Uh, but that's all going to happen in the next episode. I think, depending, this was kind of a hefty one, um, but I think what I may try to do is fit each season into one episode and maybe edit things down a little bit, uh, edit the foraging down, uh, which you will have watched already, I guess, since you have gotten to the end of this. But yeah, I'm really enjoying the first season, my first approximately non-edited time. It's been about four hours, five hours of gameplay, uh, and it's all been really fun. So if you enjoy this, if you're gonna enjoy taking the journey through a year in Maneko's Night Market with me, in game year, not an actual year, uh, please do follow the channel. And you can find me on Twitch and TikTok as well, uh, where I cover indie games, curate them, let you know how I feel, and recommend titles that you may enjoy. And if you like delving deeper into games, especially with a community of people, or if you enjoy and really do well if you have like a guided reflection question as you play to help you just feel like you get a lot out of the narrative portions of the game especially follow me at geeks and grounds uh I, we have a website at www.geeksandgrounds.com um, but we're also on blue sky instagram Technically, we have a TikTok. I haven't posted anything yet, uh, but that's the game club that I host um, and that I founded, co-host with Joel, my friend, and we basically play a game together as a whole community. It's focusing on one game per month. We dive deep. We look at the themes. We connect it to our lived experiences in the real world, and we just find ways to really take time to enjoy games. Um, I think it's important to do that. So if that sounds like your thing, check out geeksandgrounds.com. And that's it. So I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Bye.